Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem Rakakwadash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? And I'm not sure if you can see the sign in the back, you know, but like I always do a count, you know, uh, you know, I show that sign, you know, if you see yourself on that sign, you know, you make up, you make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, all right? You know, if you can see this, all right, this is the chart as well, all right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you make up the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? You know, and, and you know, those people over in the land of Israel right now, like I always state, you know, they're not the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, right? They're not the children of the Lord. You know, the people over there in the land of Israel, they're considered heathens. You know, the synagogue of Satan, as the scriptures tell you, all right? You know, I'm going to go ahead and bring it out, you know, just uh, for edification purposes. You know, because you have newer people that's new to this channel and whatnot. You know, they may not know what's going on, all right? You know, the scriptures talk about it all throughout the scriptures. In uh, Revelation 2 and 9, 3 and 9, talks about how they're the synagogue of Satan. You know, what uh, it also talks about in Ezekiel. Which I'm going to go to right now You know, it talks about how um, Our land will be taken over by the Gentiles And whatnot, alright And the people that you have in the land of Israel right now Or ultimately, you know, Esau, Edom The so-called white man, alright And Ishmael, alright, the Palestinians And right now they're fighting over a land That's technically not even theirs, alright It's our land So let's go ahead and get it Ezekiel chapter 36 And start at verse 1 And it says, also thou son of man Prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 2 Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because the enemy has said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. All right, you know, who is this enemy? Let's continue. It says, Therefore prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because they have made you desolate and swallow you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. All right, so. The heathens have pretty much, you know, taken our land, you know, and made it their possession. All right. And it says, ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel heard the word of the Lord, Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about you. All right. And like I stated a few minutes ago. The people that's in the land of Israel right now, they're heathens, all right? And they're, those are ultimately Esau, Edom, so-called white man, Idumians, all right? And Ishmael, Palestinians, all right? So-called Arabs. Those are the heathens that's there right now, and they're currently fighting over that land, all right? Let's continue. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, all right? Idumia. Is the same thing as Esau, Edom, all right? All the same people, all right? So that's who's in the land right now claiming to be that they're us, all right? So that lets you know that the people that's claiming to be Israelites, they're not, all right? They're heathens, and they're going to be destroyed and thrown into chains according to the scriptures, all right? It says, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Verse 6, there, prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, thus so saith the Lord Yahweh. Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Verse 7, therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, shall they shall bear their shame. All right. So this is one of many, you know, scriptures that prove to you that, you know, Esau, the, the people that's in the land of Israel right now, you know, they're not the Israelites, all right? They're heathens, you know? And like I said, you know, they're going to be thrown in chains. They're going to be destroyed, so on and so forth, right? When you read Isaiah chapter 14, it tells you that these other nations, they're going to go into chains, all right? Same way we had to serve them. They're going to have to serve us, all right? The book of Obadiah, you know, talks about how after Esau, Edom serves us for a thousand years in our kingdom, he's going to be destroyed off the face of the earth, all right? These devils are the only people that's not going to receive any type of mercy, all right. These other nations, you know, they're going to serve us. They're going to build up our cities, our, uh, our countries, our palaces and all that, you know, 
after a thousand years, then they're going to go back to their respective places and whatnot, so on and so forth. You know, but they're still going to be below us and in subjection to us and whatnot. You know, but the point being is that Esau Edom, he's going to be through after that thousand years. All right. These small hats, these 1948ers, these people that claim to be Israelites. Yeah, they're going to be through. All right. So I just want to bring that out, you know, for you newer brothers and you newer sisters out there, you know, that are new to this channel. All right. You are the true children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians. You're the true children of Israel. And it's time to repent. All right. You know, and shallow on to you speckled birds. And you Israelite foreigners that scatter out in other nations that look like other nations, but are in fact Israelites. All right. So as you see, you know, uh, we're doing a pretty much a sit down today, you know, in the car and whatnot. You know, we planned on coming out, going to the highways and the byways, you know, but it's extremely, you know, extremely cold, you know, colder than usual. So, you know, uh, we're doing a sit down, you know, and a replace of that. Right. Because either way it goes, you know, this work still has to be done. All right. This work has to come out. All right. You know, so, um, you know, we do We out here, you know, we making this lesson, making, you know, uh, you know, a sit down lesson. All right. Pretty much prophesying a downfall, you know, this wicked kingdom known as Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. All right. You know, also prophesying and uh, preaching the good news. All right. The good news being the gospel, the gospel, meaning, um, you know, the good news. All right. You know, and I bring this out every lesson so you understand what the gospel is, because here it is. You know, you have these uh, wacky tacky Christians. You know, they think that the gospel is for everybody. All right. You know, when we tell you that uh, 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 they're going into slavery and this, that, another, you know, they'll say, hey, that's not the gospel. You know, that's hate. Well, technically, according to the scripture, that is the gospel. All right. America, Babylon, the great being destroyed. That is the gospel. All right. Us being delivered, the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians. That is the gospel. All right. So let's get it. Isaiah 61 and verse one, it says the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. All right. We're the ones that's brokenhearted. We're the ones that's, uh, you know, uh, the meek, the lowly. All right. You know, so, hey, that's who the gospel is for. Let's continue. And it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to come for all that mourn. Verse three to a point unto them that mourn in Zion. Zion is another name for Israel, all right? So that's let, that lets you know who the gospel is for, all right? The Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? The gospel is that we're about to be delivered, all right? And this place is about to be destroyed. That's the good news. But these wacky tacky Christians, including a lot of our own people, you know, they, they'll say, oh, that's not the good news. That's hate. You know, that's fear mongering. You know, no, of course, like we just read, this clearly lets you know that that's the gospel. All right. And this is what we are looking for. This is what we're laboring for. All right. You know, so this is what we're pretty much doing. You know, uh, preaching the good news, the gospel. All right. You know, because we are in those times where these things are getting ready to come to pass. You know, bef but before our deliverance, you know, before all these good things come, you know, all hell's getting ready to break loose come here on. in Babylon the Great. Big all right. Time. You know, Jacob's trouble, the worst time in history. All right. So it's time for you Israelites to wake up and repent. You know, uh, or you'll get you'll get caught out there in it. All Cut. right. I got Cut. some brother. So Cut. I'm going to read from the NLT. This is first Corinthians chapter two and verse 12. And we have received the most high spirit, not the world spirit. So we can know the wonderful things the most high has given given has freely given us. When we tell you these things, we do not use words that come from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the spirit, using the spirit's words to explain spiritual truths. Verse 14. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from the most high spirit. It all sounds foolish to them and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. So going into that, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, the, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord has given Yahweh Bashim Shah has given his elect, you know, you know that truth, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know through through the Spirit, man, because you got a lot, because you got a, a a lot of people, man, that 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 claim, man, that that oh well, well they they they, they claim that 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 they're um uh, that they're for um uh, Yahweh Shah, but really, man, it, it really wasn't given. You know what I'm saying? Unto these people, man, because you got these these quote unquote these quote-unquote spiritual people right you know they they're they be in they be into that bugged out stuff man you know that that, that them new age teachings man 
and they're gonna be deceived man because hey what the, what the scriptures say let the deceiver and, and the deceived be his man but hey man we know man that yahweh by shimia shot man he gave us a choice man to to either be an israelite and walk sincerely to the truth and sincerity to the best of our abilities and teach his word or to be out in this wicked ass world with the with esau and the wicked and, and these heathens and, or the two-thirds man you know what I'm saying? We was given that choice, man. But we chose, man, to to walk according to Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Okay, and through the and, th and through the Spirit, man. You know that's how we that's how we be, be we, we be going through the Spirit, man. Because right. when we say we go we going through the Spirit, man. Hey, man, the, the, the Spirit is flowing and working through us, man. Telling y'all what's going on, man. And we're doing it in truth and righteousness and sincerity. But see, the reason why these people can't understand this Bible. It's because Yahweh by Shem Shai didn't give it to him, and the spirit ain't on them to get this truth, man. Only his elect can get this truth, man. That's why that's why a lot of these people are bugged out, man. <laughs> I mean, look at what's going on in, in, in uh Sakari, man. I mean, you had Sakari, he was talking mad shit about the um the, the, the brothers, man. Just because, you know, and then you got people saying, oh, well, y'all ain't, y'all ain't this and that because y'all ain't famous. Because everybody wants, everybody wants to talk about the brothers, right? Here, here in the, here in GMS, right? Because, you know, because truth be told, man, that's all Jake and Eve care about, man. They just care about the fame and the fortune, man. They don't care about sincerely being here for this truth, man, for this thing, man. Because you got these, you got these Jakes, you got, um. Uh, What's his name? Captain Tazariak going to he was going with uh, the 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 hundred what's I forgot whack what they yeah whack one hundred yeah. the water brother the whack one hundred talk sharing them to about the Passover what the what what the hell are you doing man t, t, what the hell are you doing telling them about the Passover man they're of the world man they listen man Adam twenty two all the, they sold out to Satan man what did the scriptures tell you man the scriptures tell you, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, man? Because we ain't, ain't got none, man. We ain't got nothing to do with these worldly-ass celebrities, man. What the fuck are you doing telling the celebrities about the Most High's high holy days, man? They don't believe in the Most High, man. They believe in Satan, man. They don't have no soul, man. But see, the reason why he's doing this is because he sold out, man. I believe... He took the 501c3. Now, don't get me wrong. I respect the fact that he's out there teaching, you know, the truth about us being Israelites and going out on the highways. But the problem is, bro, you going on these celebrities, man, and on these wicked ass, you know, these podcasts and these celebrities, man, and, and misleading your misleading the people, man. <laughs> and, and, and you telling it and, and you telling and, and you telling them about the Passover and, and all of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, cause, cause cause in the scriptures it tells you, man, that hey, it you know what I'm saying? It's a solemn assembly, or, or it was the one where um it it, it was secret and, and it shouldn't be yeah, shown to you know the yeah, people like, in the like world. Like the brother man. said, just to add on, like yeah, that's ultimately what I was about to uh, go into, you know, dealing with the Passover, cause like you know we are in those times, you know, Passover, you know, it starts on March 23rd, you know, and we're in some times where, you know, this is what you'll notice every year during around the Passover, you know, uh people will begin to start getting sifted out, all right? People will start bugging out, teaching false doctrines, falling out the truth, you know, so on and so forth. And we're, we're starting to see that right now because Come. we're getting close around that time of the Passover, you know? So the closer that we get to Passover, you're going to see more and more people, Bug you know, out. bugging out, spewing false doctrines, so on and so forth, right? Come. You know, also, you know, making the Passover seem like it's some type of, you know, a big social gathering or a party, and it's not, Come. all right? This is, this is what happens every year, and these people just don't learn, all right? The Passover is a solemn assembly. Come. All right, was it in the, in the first Passover? You know, was we in the spirit of you know happy, you know uh, jolly and you know partying and all that? Hell no. Nope. You know we was hiding in houses so that spirit of death would pass over us. All right. You know we had to put blood, uh, blood of a lamb on our door posts and whatnot. Yep. You know so that. the lamb will pass over, so that uh, uh, the spirit of death will pass over us. All right. You know, and it's the same way in this time right now because death is in the earth. All right. Death is in the air. And we're praying that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua will have mercy on us and pass over us. All right. You know, but here it is. You know, you have, you know, Israelites walking around the earth, you know, preparing for Passover, acting like, you know, we have a reason to be jolly right now. All right. right? All hell's about to break loose. But here it is. You know, you, you in this happy, you know, go lucky spirit. 
All right. The scriptures huh. talk about how it's better to go into the house of, of mourning. All right. And I'm gonna get that in, a, in just a second. Con, and so I like, got yeah, that one. Con, yeah. you know, I'm a, uh, you can bring that. Out. I was yeah. want to bring this out right quick. Be kind. So this is a uh, second Edris chapter 14. And uh, let's start at verse 13. All right. And it says, now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and renounce corruption. All right. Seeing as the time. You know, Passover coming around and whatnot. You know, it's time to set your house in order, all right? In your house, meaning yourself, first and foremost, all right? Self-examine yourself, you know, trim off the things you need to trim off, so on and so forth, all right? So you'll be seen as worthy to escape these things that's getting ready to come to pass. Verse uh, 14, it says, Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put now off the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee, from these times verse 16 for yet greater evils than those which i have seen happen shall be done hereafter all right so we in those times of you know evil you know things happening all right but here it is you know you have jake's and the truth preparing to have this you know this extravagant passover yep, you know get your tickets now yep and all that you know this it's not the time for that and notice all these camps uh having passovers and, and, and making you pay money like you got to pay a thousand dollars just for a passover like isupk iuic because it was this one um and i and upk he was talking about oh how much money the the what they say three hundred four hundred dollars a passover man but here, but here over here, man, you don't got to pay no money, man. We don't want your money, man. We just want to, you know, sincerely teach this truth, man. Because Esau, man, he's batting down the hatches, man. I don't know if y'all been knowing, man. YouTube has been really fucking with brothers' channels, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've really been messing with brothers. You can't even comment, man. So it's a blessing, man, that the Lord gave you this truth and he gave you brothers, man, that you can, you know, that you can, you know, you know, congregate with, man, and go out and teach, man. And it's uh -huh. a blessing to, to go out and teach and that we're still alive to this day, man. <laughs> because a lot of these Jakes and E's, man, they, they take this truth as a game, man. They think it's all fun and games. And the Lord, how about Shimmy out shy? He's not about games, man. This truth ain't about games, man. And you and you, two, and, and you people, man, that know that you're Israel, man. Y'all, Hey, man, y'all going to get it, man. You people that keep playing with the Mosai. Hey, keep playing with the most high, man. Hey, the Lord gonna have something for you. Because remember, the judgment starts at the house of Israel, man. Okay? And Salaki, because cause I wanted because I forgot, I almost forgot to break this scripture down. And then I'll bring this one out. So, and then going into, you know, why these people can't understand, because it's Salaki. Understand, you know, the scriptures, man. Because the most high had given it unto them. That's why these people are atheists, man. Talking about some... Well, well, what, what God are you talking about? Well, well, well what, what are you talking about, man? The, that's the white man's book, man. What are you talking about, man? These people in the so-called conscious community, they don't even believe in the most side. I mean, they, they, they talk a good talk, right? But they don't, they don't even believe in the most side, man. It's because the Lord ain't give it to them, man. You know what I'm saying? They're foolish, man. You know, y'all about Shimmy Al Shah saying these people are foolish. These two thirds, man, you, you so-called atheists, you people that believe in, Scientology, uh, uh, the, the the conscious community, you know, evolution, you know, we 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 evolve into a monkey, you know, the you know all them new age, you know, theosophical and uh, society and all that madness, man. You're foolish, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Lord just didn't give you the spirit to understand this truth, man. And that's why they hate it, man. And then and then you Christians too, man, that believe in Caesar Bojie, man. The Lord just didn't give you this truth, man. And that's why it's a blessing, man, that the Lord gave us this truth, man, freely, man. And you know, and um, now I'm going to read what the brother was. See, this is what you, Jason, Jason Eve's got to understand what the Passover is about, man, because it wasn't about fun and games like these these Israelite camps uh, um, are um, teaching. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, stick to the doctrine of, of this truth right here, man, of, um, G, of, of, of GMS, man. Okay, stick to this doctrine, man, because this is your only way, man. Because <laughs> these other camps, man, they're misleading people, man. You know, all they're they're, they're selling out for uh, to the five hundred one C three for their filthy lucre's sake, man. For because they want that fame and that fortune, man. That's all they care about. Was, was Yahweh shot for fame and fortune? No, man. He he was there to um, 
to, to teach the people and warn them, man. And it's either you listen, man, or you die, man. The plain and simple. This is Exodus chapter 12 and verse uh, 7. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. So the reason people that they had to take the blood during the Passover was so that the spirit, when the spirit of death, the death angel came and slaughtered all those, um, those newborn and those children in, in the land of Egypt, man, so that they wouldn't be killed, man. Okay. That's what the Passover was about. So now I'm going to make my point. This is verse, uh, what's it? Four, uh, third, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Most High, and the blood shall be to you for, yeah, for a to token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So guess what? It, that, that 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 was the whole purpose, man, so that the Lord wouldn't kill you, man. Mm -hmm. So if you had that blood, man, Yahweh Yahushua wasn't going to kill you, man. That's what this Passover is about. See, you Israelite camps, y'all ain't teaching that, man. Y'all 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 ain't teaching the, 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 the what the real purpose of the Passover was uh -huh. about, man. Y'all just doing, y'all just trying to party, clubbing, basically doing what these two third niggas see, really. Yeah, they, they're yeah, two third see, niggas. See, with fringes is what they really are. See what Jake thinks <laughs> is going on. Jake really think he in the kingdom right now. See that Jake Jake think he, he could party it up, live it up right now. You know, not realizing that all hell's about to break loose. I'm gonna jump down to uh what verse was that you just read? I was at uh fourteen. Yeah, I was at thirteen. Come, I'm gonna jump down to verse twenty one and uh okay, yeah, read yeah. on down. Big calm, big calm. Right, because it's pretty much saying the same thing that we read. But this also this goes a little bit more in depth. And it says, Then Moses called for the elders of Israel. And said unto them, draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. All right. That lamb represents Yahweh Shai. Come. All right. Verse 22. And it says, and ye shall take a, a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the entail and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. All right. But here it is. You know, you Israelites, you refuse to stay in your house during Passover. You know, you wanna you, you wanna go out to a, a, a damn, uh, um, you know, uh, have a, a a ball party or whatever. Come. You know, you're trying to rent out a place to have a big gathering and have Israelites pay for a ticket just to come to Passover. Exactly. All right. You know, script. This is what we was doing back then. All come. right. We didn't leave our house. All mm -hmm. right. Let's read that again. Uh, it says, Then Moses called for the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. And you should take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the entail and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. Come. All right. So, but here it is. You know, you use like you're doing the complete opposite. You're doing the you wanna, opposite you, you wanna, of the scriptures, Yeah, man. come on. You want to party it up. Exactly. All right. You want to act like, you know, uh, it's a Super Bowl party come. or some shit. Hey, man, because the Lord was finna accuse. He killed everybody, man, in the land of Egypt. Everybody, man. Come on. So what? So what? Where in the scriptures does it tell you go party, go party it up, and, and you know what I'm saying, and and and, and, and uh and, and do that, man. That's nowhere in the scriptures, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take this thing as a game. So you Jakes and E's, man. Y'all need to watch out of what camps y'all be listening to, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You need to listen to the to the right ones, man. Okay, because these these people they're gonna mislead you, man. Because I'm telling you, man, it's going to be when the Passover comes, I, I can guarantee y'all when the Passover comes, that could be when the pandemic happens. Like, truth be told, that's when the lockdown could come, man. And it's going to be that 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 second exodus, man. OK, because every year, man, that that's what the Passover is about, man, to, to remember that that exodus, man. OK, and, and that lamb was the was the sacrifice, man, just like y'all was shot, man. So you wouldn't get put to death, man. And that's what, and, and that was for the, all these two thirds, man, to get put to death, man. All them that were being wicked, they had to get put to death. Man, woman, child, beast. The most I didn't care, because the scriptures tell you everybody could get it, man. If you ain't, if you ain't of the elect, and the Lord ain't chose you, He gonna kill you anyway, man. So 
and 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 the the purpose of that is to remember what what, what the Passover is for, man. It, it ain't about all fun and games. Yeah, you can chat with the you can chat with brothers and all that, but you know what I'm saying. It ain't all about fun and games, man. And that was you know the the point that we was trying to make, man. Kind and uh, I'm uh, let me read the next verse. Oh, and there's another point I want to touch on dealing with the Passover. Big come. You know, because like you know, you can't it can't just, anybody just can't be. You know, uh, around you during the Passover, you just ain't supposed to be inviting just anybody to Passover. Exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Like Tazaria. Yep, you know, like Tazaria, man. Huh. You can't listen. You you can't. You know, you can't invite no wicked a uh, celebrity man to know uh to 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 know to know Passover, man. Because the Most High ain't got nothing to do with these celebrities, man. Huh. And I got some. If, no, it's a lot. You could uh, you could do yeah, yeah. first, but I got some so going this, into a uh, Tazaria because you know. Yeah. Cause he he ain't doing what he's supposed to do. So this is a uh, verse twenty three. It says, "For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the entail on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come into your house to smite you." All right, you know. So like I said earlier, we coming into those same times. Back then, you know, they had to put the blood of the lamb on on their doorposts so that they would be passed over. So in this time. You know, if you're not covered by the blood of your house, shy, all right, you know, you're going to be destroyed, all right? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, the point being is that, you know, the Passover is a solemn assembly, all right? Because we're seeing everything that's growing up in the earth right now, all right? Okay. You know, we're seeing wars pop off. We're seeing earthquakes in diverse places, all right? We're, we're hearing the the, uh, the talks of the MOTB being, you know, uh, making the making the stage and whatnot. Yep, all right? because you got the, um, the that Apple Pro, that's being pushed out huge. Gun. You got a lot of people that are doing it, and I've been seeing it more and more. They got commercials. They got people doing it, man. And, you know, this all going to lead to the MOTV, man, Gun. taking that, that chip that Elon Musk. Because Elon Musk already had his trials out, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, the, tr the truth is it's in plain sight, man. <laughs> like, it's like if you can't see it, man, then the Lord is just ain't dealing with you like in, in, in 2 Corinthians say, man. Uh, and this is a... Um another scripture you know because the same thing that happened back then you know an exodus that happened back then is going to happen now on this time Con. all right you know um let's go ahead and get that jeremiah chapter 16 and uh verse 14 it says therefore behold the days come saith the lord that it shall no more be said the lord liveth that brought up the children of israel out of the land of egypt verse verse 15 but the lord liveth that brought up the children of israel from the land of the north all right the land of the north being America, all right, North America. It says, and from all the lands, whether we, whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, all right? So, you know, even to this day, you know, people still talk about, you know, the first Exodus, and, you know, they try to figure out, you know, how the Red Sea was split and this, that, another, you know? You know, this is still a thing that people talk about today because, you know, that Exodus, you know, was, you know, something that's like very, you know, that was a, a major miracle and whatnot, so to speak, and whatnot. So, you know, it said, like we just read, it's no more going to be talked about. That, that first exodus ain't going to be talked about no more because the second exodus about, that's about to take place is going to surpass that. All right. Why? Because you're going to have so-called UFOs, chariots coming to deliver the elect. All right. Our enemies all right, being these other nations, two thirds of our people. They're going to be seeing the, the elect being delivered up into these uh, UFOs while they getting that exactly. second exodus. Kind of why they, they you know why they you know they, why they saying this the missiles getting ready to drop down on them they're gonna be seeing the elect being beamed up and whatnot all right you know so that right there alone you know that's something that's far out you know what I'm saying and then you know it's gonna surpass the first Exodus because America Babylon the Great is gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles all right this place is gonna be destroyed off the face of the earth and cease to exist all right so just to show you that the same thing that happened back then is is gonna happen again. Because this is spiritual Egypt that we're living in. When you read uh, uh, Revelation chapter 11, it tells you that this place is spiritual Sodom and Egypt. All right. So us being in spiritual Egypt, the same things that happen in real Egypt is going to happen in spiritual Egypt. What happened before, you know, we was, uh, you know, before the Exodus? What happened before, you know, we left? Egypt was hit up with various plagues. All right. All types of uh, uh, things was happening in uh, ancient Egypt. All right. So it's going to happen this time too. This is second Edris. Chapter 15 and verse 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand 
and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right. So like I said, you know, ancient Egypt, before we left, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua caused various plagues to come upon Egypt. All right. You know, just so in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you know, he ultimately hardened Pharaoh's heart. You know, he made Pharaoh say, no, I ain't letting them go. You know, just so the Lord, he could ultimately show his might. And whatnot, all right? And show, uh, pull all these plagues upon ancient Egypt. So it's going to be the same right right now, all right? Esau, Edom, he's going to come down with great red and whatnot. And the Lord, he's going to bring all types of plagues upon this place, all right? You know? So, hey, it's, the scriptures talk about ain't nothing new under the sun. So the same thing is going to happen again. Come on. Verse 12, and it says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh by Shemiah Shah shall bring upon it, all right? So why in the hell you Israelites? You know, are in the spirit of being jolly, all right? Nothing that we just read, you know, gives you a reason to be in a happy spirit. You know, yeah, you should be happy that we about to be delivered, but who said you're gonna be delivered? Who said that you're gonna be one of those that's protected from these plagues that's coming? All right. So that's why it's important for you to be in that spirit of being solemn, all right? Huh. Sorrowful for your uh, sins and, and all that. Exactly. You know, so and that yeah. goes along with this, like James yeah. chapter four. Man, this yeah. heavy. Yeah. So I'm going to read James chapter four and verse four. And I'm going to jump to, uh, yeah, verse, uh, verse, uh, verse 10 and then 11. Because this is the point, man, because that's what a lot of these camps are doing, man. They ain't being humble, man. <laughs> you know, it's just about their own glory and, you know, doing it f f for them, man, instead of for Yahweh Shah, man. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? It, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got, cause you like bug outs like uh, Sakari. He talk about he don't believe in the Apostle Paul, man. Through, and then he just came out with a with a uh, video titled "The uh, God Is Friends with the Devil," man. This dude is bugged out, man. But I'm gonna make my point. So this is touching on Captain Cesare, and it's touching on Sakari and all these camps. You know what I'm saying? That are doing it for their f v glory. This is James chapter four and verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enemy with the Most High? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. So do you know, if you read the scriptures, Captain Cesare, you've been in this truth for 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 years, man. You've been back since going back to, uh, to uh, you, you know, the, the one what back to one West, man. You should know this scripture, man. Do you not know that being friendship with the world is an enemy of God? You know what I'm saying? Enmity means enemy, man. So here it is. You're doing podcasts with sellouts that are of the world, man, that sold to the devil. Adam 22, all them, all them, all of them do and all them other uh, sellouts. They sold out to Satan, man. They've been sold. They sold a long time ago and they sold and, and they, uh, they worship. They worship Satan, man. But here it is. You're doing podcasts when, and they're non-believers, man. <laughs> what are you? Here it is, man. You're an Israelite trying to walk in righteousness. What are you doing with 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 uh with with uh pot with with uh whack one whack one hundred salak here? I, I I don't be I'll be watching sometime, but mm -hmm. I don't be paying attention sometime. But I only paid attention when 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 Tazaria because the elder Manat at Manatazaka did a video. So when you're when you're doing so basically, Captain Tazaria, you're an enemy of Yahweh of Yahweh, man, because you're out doing podcasts with with the with Wack 100 and all these wicked ass celebrities that are show that shown their wickedness. Because we all know how wicked, you know, Adam 22 and all of them. We know how wicked they are, man. We know they sold out. So you're basically telling you're letting us know, Captain Tazaria, you took the 501c3, man. I mean, which means you sold out, man, to the small hats, man. Okay, you're an enemy of Yahweh Bashim Shai now, because you wanted to, you wanted to be friends with these guys. Now you're an enemy of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which now we're your enemy. You're our enemies too, man. Whoever is an enemy of Yahweh Bashim Shai's, that's our enemy too, man. So if you're, so listen, if you people are out trying to. Trying to um go, trying to talk with a with a say a celebrity who's a known Satanist, try, trying to, that that been sold out, that that's of the world, that ain't gonna get it. 
and you trying to share them Passovers, you trying to, you know, dap them up and be cool with them, you're an enemy of your how about shimmy out shot. And that's plain and simple, man. And these, these and you know, these these two thirds, man, if you want to be, be with these two thirds, man, you're an enemy of your how about shimmy out shot, man, period. Captain Tazariak is an enemy of your how about shimmy out shot. Now, I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 10 because this is addressing Sakari, man, because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he he's talking he's talking bearing false witness on brothers and talking shit. This so, still dealing deal with the Passover. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Con, 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 con. Con. It's lucky. It, it's prophecy because I wanted to. It, 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 if if that's okay, this is um uh, verse ten. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Most High, and He shall lift you up. In in verse eleven, speak not evil one another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother. And judgeth his brother speaking evil of the law, and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge, man. So, hey, man, don't speak evil against your brother, Sakari, because th that's what you're doing, man. You, you, you're, 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 you're bearing false witness against the brother, man. You're breaking the law of your how about shim y'all shot, man. Because you got, because you got these wacky, tacky Christians talking about love your brother. That's talking about your Israelite brother, man. I ain't talking about these heathens, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord don't love these heathens, man. So that's a clear cut for you, Sakari, man. That's a clear cut, man. And you're breaking the law, man. God. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're, you're being wicked, man. Here it is. You bearing false witness against brothers, and then you teaching false, you teaching bugged out doctrines. I'm, I'm talking. This man is from saying he don't believe in the apostle Paul to saying God is friends with with the devil. Bugged. I, I wouldn't be surprised if and, and he was talking about how vocab Malone is is, is better, man. An agent, man. Nah, God, that's, 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 getting, that's, some, that's some low level shit. He's, right bugged, there, saying he's that, getting yeah. worse. This dude is bugging out worse and worse, man. Because <laughs> you was a part of GMS, too, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's, and, that's and, some and real I, low level shit. Like, see, why would you go so dude, low to saying that? Right. Like, to saying that vocab Malone, which is a known exactly, devil, nigga. the <laughs> known was... devil that's gonna be the story, gonna say that he has more honor than brothers in GMS. Like, come on now, you you yeah, you better repent. And you that's used to be, and you were a, you were a part of GMS, bro. You and uh, uh, Alizar. Now y'all doing this shit for y'all fame and glory, man. Hey, the Lord gonna get y'all, man. If y'all don't, if y'all get right, man. Lord gonna get y'all, man. But I think they sold out anyway, huh. so the Lord gonna get their ass anyway. But uh, but that's all I had on now. Huh, now I I wanna, I, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we can go on. Yeah, I want to touch on something dealing with you know Sakari as well because like you know I, I don't know if you brothers and you sisters out there you know you seen the video, but pretty much you know they're trying to sell tickets to go to a Passover. You know what sense does that make? You know why would you make to where brothers and sisters gotta pay money just to attend a Passover and whatnot and buy a ticket? You know what I'm saying? And this this goes in, it's, it's similar, but you know, this shows you how Yahweh Shai, he pretty much, he went into the temple, he flipped over tables because, you know, uh, people were selling inside the temple, ultimately showing that you shouldn't be using this truth and whatnot, you know, to try to make money. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So this is uh, Matthew chapter 21. And uh, let's start at verse, so let's start at verse 11. And it says, and the multitude said, this is Yahweh Shai, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Verse 12. And Yahweh shot went into the temple of Yahweh and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. All right. You know, so I just bring that out to show you that, you know, this is how Yahweh shot will ultimately feel about people that try to make money, you know, using this truth and whatnot. All right. So here it is. You know, you have these have Sakari, you know, they're trying to sell you know, tickets, you know, for people to attend, you know, Passover and whatnot, right? You know, why not just have a simple Passover at your house? Exactly. You know, it ain't got to be a big extravagant ball and all that, you know? You know, there's just no need for that because like I, like we already went into, you know, we are in a time of mourning. Great death and destruction is finna come. So you don't need all that, all right? Just have your Passover at your house, your lamb, you know, your wine, your bitter herb, you know, so on and so forth, and let it be that, all right? You know, see, Israel just be trying to do too much and be too damn deep. You know what I'm saying? That deep shit is ultimately going to get a lot of you Israelites destroyed. Cut. All right? So, um, getting one more thing. You know, I'm going to make a whole separate lesson, Cut. you know, dealing with the Passover in general before, you know, the day comes. You know, um, but I just want to get one more thing dealing with this Passover. 
you know, uh, showing you that, you know, you're not supposed to be in the spirit of, you know, uh, partying during the Passover, right? You know, it's a solemn assembly and you should be in that type of spirit because ultimately during the Passover, you want your sins to be forgiven. You know, you want your help by Shemel Shah to have mercy on you. God, so you know, you won't you, be destroyed. Exactly. Just like I was in back in ancient Egypt. They put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost so that the uh, destroyer will pass over them. So we want the blood of Yahweh Shah to be on us. So this is the death and destruction that's coming we will pass over us. You know what I'm saying? So this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2. It said, it is better to go into the house of mourning than to go in the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to rest. All right. So it's better to go into the house of mourning than the house of feasting. But here it is. You have, you have a lot of Israelite groups. It's not just Sakari. You know, it's IUIC as well. You know, and a lot of these other camps. All right. It's too many to name. You know, and that, that just shows you how, you know, the mindset of majority is Israelites, all right? They're in the spirit of mourning. I mean, they're in the spirit of feasting rather than being in mourning, all right? Verse uh, 3, it says, Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. And that's the spirit that we're supposed to be in, sorrow, sorrowful, all right? Because number one, like, you know, we're seeing the things that's going on on the earth right now. All types of wickedness is going on. You know, we know what's about to come. All right, great death and destruction. And we don't know if we're going to make it through it. We have faith, but we don't know. All right, so you should be in the spirit of being sorrowful. Verse four, and it says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. All right, and mirth means to be in a holly, in a, uh, in a uh, jolly spirit, you know, happy-go-lucky, you know, type of spirit. All right, so if you're in that type of spirit, you know, you're considered unwise because the wise is going to be in the house of uh, uh, mourning. All right. Like we just read a couple scriptures up, you know, the uh, being in the house of mourning, you know, that makes you pretty much closer to the how about some was shy. All right. The heart is made better. All right. You know, you got some. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think I got some. Let me get a. Uh, like. This is. Yeah, because. Yeah, this is kind of it's because it, it, because I want to touch on as far as the prophecy. But this is. um. Uh, this is also going into it. This is uh first Timothy chapter four and verse one. Now spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron. Now, this could go both ways, brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Because you got people amongst the, you know, the Israelite, you know, you know, you know, bugging out and, you know, leaving the faith and teaching bugged out stuff. But then you got people that are into like like before we was talking about, like, for example, these people that are into uh to this to this new age, you know, like like, you know, Scientology, you know, theosophy and, and all of that, man, that that's them, you know. Leaving the faith, man, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and being the Israelite and going into that new age crap, man. Cause on the cause on the left hand side, you, you, you know, they, they be you know, they be teaching that do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Do what you want, man. And and and, and, and they teach false doctrines, man. You know, I mean cause they sound so deep, right? Like like the conscious community. They sound so deep, right? But they're bugged out talking about the black woman is God and all this bugged out stuff. They were in the the eye of the eye of Horus and, and practicing all this left hand gar, left hand garbage stuff. And then you got these atheists that don't even that 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 that, that they would rather they rather not believe in the Most High and they rather believe in, and they they rather believe in that 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 God isn't real and that and they believe you came from a monkey, man. And they believe. And see, they 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 been, <laughs> I mean, they've been deceived, man. You know, and that's Esau's philosophies, man. That's Esau's religions, man. Like all this Buddhism, yoga. That you got a lot of Jakes and E's partaking in that new age garbage, man. And the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai warned you not to, not to give heed, man. But he told you that, you know, in these last days, people will be giving heed to sed these seducing doctrines, man. Doctrines of devils, man. That's talking about. Esau Edom and his philosophies, man. Like, like you know, I'm not gonna go deep into it, but you can research this stuff. Look up, you know, Theosophy, Helena Blavatsky, Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, and and they'll and they'll and, and they'll tell you, man, it's all it's all satanic and new age stuff. Because L. Ron Hubbard admitted that he got his teachings from Aleister Crowley, 
And, that, and, and that's what all these, this new age garbage is, man. It's basically do do what you want. As long as, as long as you're against the Bible, as long as it ain't teaching about the most high, do what you want, man. You know, cause, cause, cause that's, cause that's what it's all about, man. Cause they tell you, oh, well, because they tell you, oh, well, you are your, well, you are your own God and, 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 and Jesus isn't coming back. He's not coming back to destroy this place. That's what they tell you, man. That, that's what these new agers tell you. And then they think, and you know, what's crazy. People really think they're spiritual because they think they're the chakras <laughs> because they don't even realize the chakra has the, the, the six pointed star, the seal of Solomon. They think they think they're so deep because because they tell truth. And they say the, the, the chakras, your, your 12 chakras, and then these be the same people that be going outside sun gaze. These people are bugged out, man. <laughs> and these people claim to have the truth. But then you ask them, do you believe in the Bible? They be like, oh, I don't believe in that Bible. I hate the Bible. That's the white man's book. That's what they'll tell you. They tell you that's the white man's book. Because the brother, a brother, a lot of brothers did a video on this Eve. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's bugged out. She and you know what her her TikTok her TikTok name is the Devil's Daughter. Can't make. She said I would rather. Well, this was recently. Yep. Uh. It was it was an Eve on TikTok. She said I would rather go. She said I would rather. She she said there is no God because you got all these Christians saying that that there is a God and that there is no God. God isn't real and and, and all that. And and and, and, and y'all y'all are the most delusional and y'all the most crazy. I mean, she was so bugged out, man. It's like, man, and it's just crazy. But like <laughs> these people, they say all that stuff, uh -huh. and they so dumb and, and, and retarded. Kind to the point you know where, what she said? She's, away. They so dumb she's and like, retarded to the point where they don't realize that realizing that they bring in, you know, they they they, they pretty much they're a walking prophecy because the scripture said these type of people will come in the last days. Huh. You know, people that say oh, God ain't real and this that another. You know, they'll start believing in these seducing, you know, doctrines and all that. It's huh. all written about in the Bible. So they so brain dead and retarded to the point they don't even realize that they're being spoken of in the Bible. Huh. And then <laughs> the thing about it is Satan now controls them now. Now they're getting it. Now they're partaking in all these satanic religions, including Islam. Islam is a part of it, too, man. Now y'all are partaking in Esau's philosophies, man, which is on the left hand side, Lucifer demons, man, which... That's what y'all gonna find out very soon, man. <laughs> Con, this is a uh, scripture to go along with what you was talking about. Oh yeah, Con. You know, about how people in a, uh, were pretty much, you know, they would start, you know, going after seducing spirits and false doctrines and all that. Big Con. So this is uh Second Timothy chapter four, and let's start at verse three, and it says, "For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers." having itching ears all right so yep. that goes to people out in the world and also those in the truth because you know you have a lot of people in the truth you know they'll they'll turn the blind eye to brothers you know uh, uh what they teach because you know it doesn't you know pretty much line up with they with the way they want things to be kind they, you know they want that do what thou wilt yeah uh, like 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 be freely like it like it's nice and wonderful kind, like yeah. they don't want to hear that america's going to be destroyed and people are going to be killed they don't want to hear that yeah, they, they want to hear something that's Nice. And yeah. That's why they go to the conscious. Community. Yeah, I, I'm going to give you a few examples like uh, they're happening in the truth right now. You know, for like, for example, people that get butt hurt when you tell them that, you know, uh, only Israel could be saved and other nations they are going into captivity and they can't receive salvation. Come. You know, they'll get butt hurt and say, oh, that can't be true. And guess what? They'll run over to people like GOCC because over there, you mm -hmm. know, they'll teach that, you know, uh, the heathens, they could be saved and this, that, another, you know, you could be. You know, even the so-called white man, he going to be ruling with you and this, that, and other. Huh. You know, they'll run over there because that's what they want to hear. All right. You know, and another example of that, I'm going to touch on you women as well, because, you know, uh, here lately, I've been noticing a lot of, you know, women, you know, uh, particular women talking about, you know, uh, talking against polygyny and all that, mm -hmm. you know, which, you know, that's not even a salvation issue, but it's, it's in the Bible. So, hey, you know, we got to speak on it. All right. You know, you have uh, women, you know, they're coming to the truth. You know, they believe that they're Israelites and whatnot. But as soon as you mention polygyny to them, they be like, oh, that, that's not of God. You know, that can't be right. Uh-uh, I ain't listening to you. Then they run over to somewhere like uh, IUIC because they'll tell you that, you know, you can't have multiple wives until you get into the kingdom. You know, and if you have them now, you're going off and this, that, and another. Come. That's why you, when you look at IUIC, they have a whole bunch of women in their congregation. And you they know what teach I'm saying? false doctrines. Yeah, man. They, teach, they don't even teach the MOTB right. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they threw, man. Come. You know? 
They going and and then they was going because the apostle, apostle Tahar did a lesson on uh, IUIC St. Louis over here, uh, St. Louis. Cause, Cause you know what I'm saying these you know these people out here they through man huh. majority of them are through you got some elect here but you know majority of these people here in St Louis they through man huh. <laughs> you know they're your, your your average Jake Jake and me they ain't gonna get it but I U I C they was going to uh, the barber shop right and you know they was trying to tell the people oh well you're an Israelite and, you know the white man is the devil and, and you know you're the chosen. But see what you Jakes don't, what you, what you brothers in the truth don't really, cause you got some sincere brothers in IUIC, you know, you do. It's the people at top that are, you know, that are selling out and misleading them, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you got some that are trying to learn. But man, and and if the Lord wants them, He gonna get them out of there at, at the last minute. I'm telling yeah. you. And but, that's what me and the brother was saying before we turned on the camera, like, you know. If we believe through the Spirit, like every count, you know, there's elect amongst every count, you know what I'm saying? But you know, we really be getting on like the people that's leading these other camps. Y'all need to teach the right thing and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, hey, you leading a lot of people astray. You know what I'm saying? But through the spirit, we believe that's elect in every camp. You know, it's just a matter of them repenting, you know, and coming about them false doctrines and whatnot before huh. it's too late. Because you had a, because you got a Jake, you had a, um, they, so they was going to, um, they was going to the, yeah, so like, they was going to the, you know, the barber shop over here in St. Louis, man. They were trying to, tell jake and you know jake had went off was like oh what are you talking about man where in the in the scriptures did it say that that only black people are going to be saved y'all keep taking things out of context and putting it your own way see what you jake's what you brothers don't understand is you ain't supposed to be out here you know talking to these people because they ain't gonna get it man that's why the lord told us to go out into the highways and the hedges exactly the and, spirit, so, and, yeah, and if the fine. spirit wants them they're gonna stop by and ask questions man sincerely and then some of them will end up you know taking heed and the lord gonna save them kind, you that can't just, it's just, chapter one. it's just like us going into this you know because we got a chick-fil-a and you got a lot of jake's knees they always come chick-fil-a over here this is like us going to chick-fil-a telling jake and Eve, oh well you're you're an israelite the white man gonna be put to death and, and he's the devil you know because they don't know what's going on and they're and that and Chick-fil-A is a Christian-based um, restaurant, man. So you, you know majority of them believe in Caesar Bogier, white man Jeebus, man. You know, you can't... You, listen, man, you, you can only... It's only an elect, man, that the Lord wants, man. Not everybody... Not all the... You know what I'm saying? Not not, not every... Well, you... Because, cause, cause, yes, uh, Salaki, Salaki. But... But it's only the ones that the Lord wants, man, that that, that are gonna be saved, man. Because you can't just go into a uh, into into a, a a store, man, or a barber shop, or or like them uh or like them uh, Jehovah Witnesses be doing, yeah, they, just knocking on people's doors. Kinda, and then you can't do that, man. Yeah, because they, 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 I, I see they just pull uh, 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 one body in yeah, your house shot. Yeah, they don't even yeah they don't even include your house shot name no more. They just call themselves one body. You know that that kind of bugged out. And then, you know, but they, uh, point, I, point being, so lucky. Point being, you know, uh, they uh, pretty much, you know, it was like a couple years ago, a year or two ago, they went over to a, a comp, uh, apartment complex, pretty much, you know, and they pretty much started acting like Jehovah Witnesses, you know, with a big microphone, speaking, trying to speak the truth and all that, knocking on people's doors and all that, you know, that's going off. You ain't got to do all that. You know, the scriptures say that wisdom cried out in the streets, all right? So, you know, don't say wisdom cried out in the barbershop. You don't say wisdom cried out in a, in a, in, your, in Burger King or right or you know, Chick Fil A <laughs> yeah, or McDonald's. No, you know, say wisdom cried out in the street streets. All right, so you know, hey, that's where you're gonna get the real wisdom at, Come. right? In the highways and the byways where you see brothers at. Because majority whatnot. of them people in the in the um, in them barber shops, store or gyms, they they're just two thirds. Majority of them are two thirds. They don't know what's going on, man. Come. They don't see what's going on, man. Why are you? Why are you why are you going into places knowing you are Israel like j just doing it like that? Now what if we was in the time of Jacob's trouble, man? It say it was a lockdown, right? And then Esau told these people that you talking to, oh, where was that guy that was preaching all that stuff on the street corner? If if you do if you if you tell us, we'll give you all this money, man. And then he ends up and he ends up telling and then he just sells you out, man. Cause they're gonna sell you out. Watch. <laughs> hey man, I really believe. You people in Sakari, IUIC, all you un, 
you you unfaithful Israelites that are, I think y'all going to be the ones at the top. Y'all going to be the ones that's going to get sold out. I believe that, you know, in Lord's will, it do happen. I believe that we're going to get, that the Lord delivers us, man, for, for going out here, teaching this sincerity. And yes, we've been persecuted a lot. You even had police, you know, you know, talking about, you know, what are y'all doing? Because you had people that tried to call the you know cops on you for sincerely doing this and not only doing and doing the works but believing it too man and i really believe that in lord's will it is man you know i ain't trying to do no but lord's will man that you know the lord the de you know de delivers us man you know Con, i just want to make a point Con. you know because you know you have a lot of israelites that hop on videos like what we're making right now that hop on the comment board but yeah. talking about something oh you y'all hating uh y'all hating y'all brothers and stuff you know First of all, we're not, we just read this. Con, exactly. Con. You know, we're not hating them at all. Because the scriptures tell you, you know. Uh, they sure, hated yeah. that rebuke is at the gate. Yeah, I, I so like, that. That's not the, that's the, that's the point I was trying to make. Oh, Con, you know, so like. it is, um The scriptures talk about how, you know, if you uh, don't don't hate your brother in your heart, you know, but and, uh, and, uh, but rebuke him, roughly paraphrasing. So let me get that right quick. Because, like, you know, this happens too much. You know, a lot of you Israelites, you hop on the comment board. You know, you talk about some all y'all y'all hating and you know you hating your brother. First of all, you know if these particular brothers are going off in the doctrine and they spewing false doctrines, Lord willing they repent. Come. You know we pray that they repent, but we telling them that what's going to happen to them if they don't and if they don't change what they're teaching. You know what I'm saying? We ain't just out here saying, "Oh, I hope you die." You know this that nothing. Nah, Come. it's not that. We praying that they repent. Right. You know you from us right, rebuking man. them. Come. You know what I'm saying? I got it. What you? Uh, yep, I got yeah, some. Come, come. It, I hope you, you talk about the scripture I was about to bring up. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, this is Amos chapter five and verse ten. They that hateth, uh, they hateth him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, man. So you know what I'm saying. You got some people in this truth, man. You know they hate being rebuked, man. Right. You know what I'm saying. They don't like the, you know, they don't like saying, you know, if you go off and do something, just, just next time don't do it again and just do right man right. at the end of the day man if you get cussed because hey man we we got we got cussed out one time or yelled at by brothers man they they were trying to do it out of love man and you know we had to take that correction we didn't get emotional or you know upset you know we just took it and just said all right i'm gonna come i'm gonna do what i'm supposed to do and better because at the end of the day these brothers they love you man at the end of the day, man, that correction, that's love, man. Exactly. Just like when you get your ass whooping beat for not doing what you when your dad tells you to um to uh take out the trash or to um uh, or to do this and do and you don't do it and you get your ass beat, he's doing that out of love, man, because he's trying to teach you something, man. Be, be, because one day you can run into this, man. Yep. And, uh -huh. and, and end up teaching these scriptures, man. Yep. And kind of like uh, and, that, that was a good scripture as well. You know, that, that that fit perfect, you know. But um, I was talking about uh, Leviticus nineteen and seventeen. You know, oh. we talk about rebuke your brother that don't suffer sin upon him. Con. You know, cause like ultimately that's what we're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, and this is the issue that a lot of Israelites don't understand. You know, they they don't have. This is the issue that a lot of Israelites got in the truth. They think that just because you are a, a fellow Israelite, you know that you're Israelite. You know, you, you think that makes you rebuke proof. Like you, you, you can't get rebuked. You can't get corrected. You know what I'm saying? That's not the truth. Come. Even if you're in the truth, that don't make you exempt from being rebuked and corrected. Come. Right. So this is Leviticus 19 and verse 17. It says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. All right. So, hey, it would be, it would be hate if we just see these particular brothers or, you know, different groups out here, you know, doing these things and just not saying nothing, turning the blind eye to it. That'll be hate because that's basically like saying, oh, I hope you die. Because if you can continue to sin, you is going to die. Come. Right. So that so that that won't happen. We're telling you, hey, you're going off, bro. You know, you need to repent. Right. You know, so hey, it's not hate when we're rebuking particular brothers or camps and whatnot. We're trying to show you where you're going off so you won't have to face that destruction that's going to come with you going off. All right. Come. You know. So, yeah, you know, I just want to go into that because a lot of, you know, you Israelites, you know, you think that you rebuke people when you come into this truth. All right, huh. and and then I'm gonna jump down to verse yeah thirteen. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time, man. So guess what, man? It is an evil time, man. Only the prudent is going to be saved, man. 
You know what I'm saying? If you out here bullshitting, you know, just partying it up, just thinking, oh, I, I, all I got to do is be in this room. I don't got to keep the laws necessarily. I just keep some of it and then I, I do whatever I want. No, nah, man. You gotta, you gotta try and be righteous to the sincerity and to the best of your abilities, man. You gotta fear your how about shim y'all shot, man. Going out partying and be going out partying during his Passover. That's not saying I fear your how about shim y'all shot. That's saying I'm, I, I'll, I'll do whatever I want. You're basically an Israelite in the Aleister Crowley spirit, basically. Do it, do what you want, man. Right. <laughs> and that's, and see, that's what Babylon is pushing up upon these people, man. I mean, it's ridiculous, man. But but see, it's gonna be a time, man, where they're gonna lock. It's gonna be lockdowns, man, because if you paid attention to the uh, World Summit, um, you know, prophecy, you know, the World Summit leaders, um, uh, Cla no, 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 not not uh, Cotton Schwab. Uh, what's his name? He's the head of the W, the W H O uh, organization. He said it's gonna be another lockdown, and he said it's gonna be another pandemic. Huh. And he also said, we don't, he said, we're basically doing a simulation from back, we're doing a simulation from back in 2018, basically, we're going to mark it as X, because we don't know yet. And then Brothers was talking about, because I remember back when I was a freshman, man, they had the Chiefs and the Niners playing, and then the next thing you know, the pandemic came out. And now, the Chiefs play the 49ers again, history can repeat itself, man. And the pandemic could roll out during the Passover, man. Y'all gonna be partying when when they lock this place down again? When they roll out the uh, these military troops? Cause you know they got these uh, these illegal immigrants and sleeper cells. And now and now me and the brother we was talking, man. Now they're talking about bringing two million terrorists in the U.S., man. No, they, they, uh, the, I mean, the video you're talking about they they already here type stuff. Con, con, yeah. Slucky. Yeah, they it already here. The uh, D.C. lady, she was saying it was two million illegals. And that's basic. If you divide it by 50, that would be 40,000 uh, basically illegal immigrant terrorists per per state, man. So, and, but but y'all still out here partying. And here it is. Tedros Gabriel is telling you a pandemic is coming, man. He's telling you. He said it's coming very soon. And the world is not prepared for it, man. But y'all still, you Israelites in this truth. Y'all bullshitting, man. But y'all gonna find out very soon once this Pete, where y'all partying when the pandemic was happening? Because I bet majority of y'all were wearing y'all masks, man. Like General Yohanna told you, and they told you to take the you-know-what, right? And I know IUIC told you to take it too, man, right? Y'all weren't doing all that partying back then when the pandemic happened. So, hey, man, take this truth seriously, man. Because, like, what you see going on, and how everybody want to be in the in the, the mirthful spirit uh -huh. right now and want to be, you know, that partying spirit. You know, a lot of Israelites claim they wake, but they not really wake. You know, you be, being asleep, it don't only applies to those that's in the world. It applies it to a lot of people, people in the, the truth. Too. Yeah, because a lot of people in the truth, they claim to be in the truth. They still asleep. That's why they're in the spirit of trying to, you know, party it up. Kind you know, let, live it up. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, this they, place is through, kinda. man. Why? I mean, why would you want to party here, man, when... You got the kingdom at hand, man. And these are the signs and the times that we're in the last days. I mean, you got earthquakes that are happening. You got the Civil War movie that's about to come. It's coming in March, people. Because you, you right. even got... And see, this is how you know America's finished. You got coons like Stephen A. Smith even saying, man, Donald Trump, he's going to win, man. And I, I really feel like a civil war is coming. You even got sellouts that are even saying that it's going to be a civil war and 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 that and that this Donald Duck, I mean this Donald Trump, him women is gonna kick off this this on the left hand side, Ordo Ab Kao, in the Civil War because Albert Pike he told you back in 1871 in his letter to the Illuminati man Albert Pike he t he told he told you man that this stuff was going to come the the Bible told you that this was going to come man. But see, you people take this truth as a game. And see, the and, and the crazy thing is majority of these people that are playing, they don't even know who Albert Pike is, man. They don't even know. They don't even know that a civil war is coming. They don't even know a pandemic is coming, man. All they know is just, I'm an Israelite and just party it up, basically. basically oh, yeah, like, like the other Manasseh is about you yeah. saying. He's saying all these Israelites know is just Judah and fringes, and that's it. That's, that's it. all they know. That's, that's, that's it. it. 
you know, see, this is what this the this, and this is really the problem that the majority uh, Israelites have, you know, with brothers and elders and GMS and whatnot, you know, because prophecy is the main thing that we talk about, God, you know, and we that's talk, it. and brothers talk about prophecy so much to the point where you know people that's on the outside looking in they'll say, oh, you're a fear monger, you know, uh, this that another, and that's where the problem lies because when you look at the rest of these other Israelite camps and groups, you know. They they're don't not vote, teaching yeah, they, prophecy. Yeah, man. they're not teaching prophecy like that. They trying to tell they they talking about what ethnicity Ruth was. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know everything in the Bible it holds rev relevance. You huh. know, but it's certain things that's not as important to prophecy, right? right? They're talking about you know uh, uh you know what what a, what a King David really looked like, what a King Solomon look, really looked like. You know, and all that stuff is cool and important. Yeah. But prophecy is most important. Exactly. You know, the destruction that's getting ready to come to this place is what's that's most what important. That's what needs to be taught. You man. know. So hey, when you, that's why you know vast majority of these Israelites, they're in the spirit of, you know, oh, let's party it up, let's God, have let's a big bullshit. get together, yeah, let's yeah. have a big get together for Passover. They're basically celebrities, but in the, in in the truth, basically, that's all they uh. really are. Y'all really, really, you're no different than the two thirds, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Because a lot of stuff is coming, and it's like y'all can't even see it. You even got sellouts that can see it. Stephen A. Smith, a coon. He could even see that civil war is coming, man. But y'all can't see that, though. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and y'all still playing with the Lord, man? Yeah, It's a scripture that I'm going to get to go along with what I just said. I think it's in the Isaiah. Come. You know, where it talk about, um, you know, the prophets that was before. It's prophets out of war, pestilence, and all that. I think, yeah, I think that's Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah Isaiah, 28. Yeah, 28. Oh, yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah, get I that. Know. And then, um, I got you. Yeah, read 8 and 9. Because yeah. it talks about the... The true prophets, and then it talks about those that talk about peace and all that. Come. You know, I got you, brother. Salaki, you people. Because huh, that's what's really going on. You know, the, what, just like it, you had it back then, the true prophets back then. You know, they 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 spoke of the things that was getting ready to come to pass: war, death, and destruction. All right, this you know. Is, huh. This is Jeremiah chapter twenty-eight and verse eight. The prophets that have been before me. And before the the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdom of wars and of evil and of pestilences. The prophet which prophesied peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord truly hath sent him. God, so that's that's exactly what you see going on. You know, you're going to be able to tell the difference between true prophets, you know, and those that's not really sent by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because the true prophets, they're going to be telling you, they're going to be the ones that you Israelites call fear mongers, all right? They're going to be the ones that's telling you that, hey, death and destruction is around your, around the corner. You better repent, this, that, another. They're going to be, they're going to be the ones that's going into these different articles, showing you what's going on in the world, all right? You know, but you Israelites, you want to lean more towards those that's, you know, uh, you know, in the spirit of, you know, talking about things that's quite irrelevant, all right? You know, the scriptures tell you that the spirit of Yahweh Shai is prophecy. Come. You know what I'm saying? And that's all we doing is just prophesying what's going on in the news, man. Come. Because Esau is telling you what he's getting ready to do. I mean, leave the world behind. That was a message, man. And this civil war, it's a message, man. And you see what's going on in Texas, man, in California, man. It's all kicking off the civil war, man. And you hear what Putin is talking about with Texas, right? I mean, it, it, it's it's in plain sight, man. <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you people, man, y'all just want y'all just want to BS and take this truth as a joke, man. You know, because this truth ain't a joke, man. You know, it comes with more. It comes with principles, you know, uh, um, it's, a lot, it's a word I'm trying to look for. But um, but 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 but, but it's laws to it, man. You can't just, you know, just just come in and be an Israelite and just say, oh, no, nah, man, it comes with a set of rules, man. Just like when your parents give you rules. You got to do it. Same yeah. thing with Yahweh Shai, man. You have to do what he tells you to do, man. Okay? And, and you know, if you don't do it, man, what would happen if you don't do what your parents, you would get your, you get your ass beat. So when Yahweh, if you don't do what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai says, he's going to beat you. You're going to get his, your ass whooped by yeah. Yahweh Shai. But that whooping is, is way worse, is way, way, way worse then your parents giving you a switch, man. Because remember what the scriptures tell you. The Lord is the king of terrors, man. God. A demon-like power, man. <laughs> Everybody fears Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even the left-hand side. Even Satan and demons fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. God. 
But y'all ain't. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all ain't showing it, man. Kind of, for edification purposes, we could get that after the, the scripture right here. Be kind. You know about uh, you know how the Lord, He's the King of Terrors. So uh, to show you that you know prophecy is the most important thing, and you Israelites that's you know uh, newer to the truth, you know you want to pay close attention to who's going into prophecy. You know who's talking about what's going on in the world. You know who's talking about the smooth things, and who's talking about the things that you know typically people will call fear. All right, because that's going to let you know who you should be listening to. Because the spirit of prophecy, like I just said a few minutes ago, it's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. All right. So uh, this is Revelation chapter 19 and verse 9. And it says, And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of Yahweh Shai. So if you call called to this marriage, you know, hey, you're blessed. All right. Verse 10. And it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. All right. So let you know that prophecy is the most important thing that we should be talking about. All right. You know, not about things that's irrelevant, not the smooth things, so on and so forth. Or the, all right? the sweet things, because that's all they want to hear. Exactly. Like, like the next rapper album, or because because that's what they be doing, right? You know. Just selling, cause cause that's what they be doing, man. Just selling albums and, and and rap, you know what I'm saying? Instead of instead of prophesying and teaching this word, man. Huh. You know. So uh, and, uh yes, what you got that King of Terrors? You got that? Oh, Slaki. Yeah, I got it. One. If you ain't got it, okay. So um, and this is ultimately, you know, talking about, you know, uh, you know what's gonna happen to Esau, you know, uh, but it just shows you in general. That Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the king of terrorists, all right? Everything you see going on on the earth, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai did it, Come. you know? People that get taken out the earth in the most gruesome ways, guess yeah, who did Yahweh it? Yahweh Bashem Exactly, did. you know what I'm saying? Because you have people that's walking around the earth thinking, oh, the oh, devil Satan, did that. Satan did. Oh, no, no, because what you got to understand is that Satan, he's in subjection to Yahweh Shai, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Do what he says, man. Exactly. And just, just for so you people can know, because if you watched, uh, what's his name, um, uh, 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 Sakari talking about a a a God is friends with the devil. That's a lie, man. You know what I'm saying? No, he's not. Yes, he has to do what Yahweh Bashim Shai told him: be wicked and evil. But that didn't mean that he's friends with Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. He hate Yahweh Shai, man. He wanted to be better than Yahweh Shai, man. And, and 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 he and he and he hated him, man. You know right. what I'm saying? Now I feel like that it's, title was probably for clickbait. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I feel like he tried to clickbait people with that. But a, if he if he meant it in that way, then that's different. Because yeah, Satan he is in subjection to Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Come. You know, but I wouldn't go so far. I'd be saying that oh, he's friends with him and this that another. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, so, yeah. The devil, Satan, the demons, and all that—they're all in subjection to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Point blank. Period. They take orders. You know what I'm saying? Con. And, and, and if he did, then yeah, Salaki. But I ain't could cause it cause it said it on there and it's yeah, up I there. Yeah, I think what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah cause yeah, it's yeah, up yeah, there. So. Con. You know, it's probably just a better way of wording it. You know, probably could have worded a different way. Con, con. You know, but um, yeah, this is Job chapter 18, and uh, let's start at verse 17. All right, because like I said, you know, this is ultimately talking about what's gonna happen to Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. But this just shows you that yeah, how about Shemuel Shah? Shai? He's the king of terrors. So. This is uh, Job chapter 18, and let's start at verse 17. It says, His remembrance shall perish from the earth, he shall have, and he shall have no more name in the street. All right? Because, when, like I said earlier, you know, after Esau Edom, you know, serves us, you know, uh, for a thousand years, you know, uh, he's going to be destroyed out the face of the earth, you know, pursuant to the book of Ob Obadiah. All right? There shall be no more remaining of the house of Esau. Verse um, 18. And it says, uh, Salaki. Matter of fact, I was supposed to ju jump up. This is uh, verse 14. And it says, His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. All right? And the king of terrors is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? So that's why, you know, we uh, talk about these different things that's going on on the earth. That's why we talk about prophecy so much, this, that, and other. Because we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the king of terrors. All right. So you Israelites out there that want to uh, uh, complain and whine and stuff about us being fear mongers. You know, well, we doing what the scriptures told us to do to persuade men because we know the terror of the Lord. 
Let's uh, get that. Terror of the Lord, Salaki. Khan is Salaki. And I wanted to, you know, bring a point, man. Because... Khan. Oh, so, oh, yeah, I got it you now. Get, you get yours. Yeah, this is Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. And it says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are, manif are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness, all right? So knowing the terror of the Lord, as we just read, he's mm -hmm. the king of terrors. Yep. You know, we persuade men. We tell you that, hey, this is what's getting ready to happen. You better repent. Come. You know, we tell you that, hey, these sleeper cells are in the, in the streets of Babylon the Great. Come. You know, they about to, uh, they just waiting on the green light. You better repent. Come. You know, but here it is. You know, you Israelites, you want to buck up. You want to get butt hurt, angry, talking about all y'all fear mongers. You know, that's all y'all talk about fear. And Esau, <laughs> very soon, Esau could roll out a cyber. He could, Esau could roll out a cyber attack any moment, God. you know, because Esau is getting y'all prepared. Because think about it. When a cyber attack happens, like think about if all like say if we you was in the house, right? And all your all your food, like I mean, all the, 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 the supplies just shut down because now because China is talking about hacking the uh, they were talking about hacking the, the, the infrastructure. Um, the infrastructure. Yeah. Now, think about this, people. If, if, now think about the people that are in the world that don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? If if if, if they if, if if all the power and stuff was cut off, and they don't have no cell phone, they could end up they could end up dead, man. And think about it, they didn't have no food or nothing, man. And and they and they could go and they could have them go days, man. They could end up dead from that, man. Huh. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like that, man, and you bet best believe it's gonna come, man. Yeah, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. Whether y'all can say we're fear mongering, but this is what Esau yeah, it's, says. It's gonna brother. be. It's gonna be. It's biblical off pro Babylon. prophecy, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. That's why you better fear your Hashem Yahushai, and that's why the Lord said, "Watch, man. Be watchful, man, because we don't know when the Lord is gonna come back, man. You know, we we don't know, man, because y'all could be in the partying, man, and then it could be not only a a, a it, you know. What I'm you, you could be partying, man, and then your Yahweh Shem Yahushua could return just like that, man, because mm. it tells you that 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 the that the Lord is gonna return in, in, like a thief in the night, man. When a thief comes, man, when he robs you, you're asleep, man. You don't yep. know what's going on. You either sleep, you're taking a shower, or doing whatever, man. Yep. Or, and, 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 and while you're doing that, he's he's taking your stuff quickly, man, and he goes quickly too. You don't even know it. Huh. That's when you and, and think about this, people. The angels don't know when the Lord is going to come back. Not even Yahweh Shai knows when the Lord is going to come back. So that's why it's important to stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? Take not thy Holy Spirit away and make sure you're doing this thing sincerely and to the truth and sincerity and the best of your abilities, man. So that it's because remember what the scriptures say, man. If you're of the Lord, it's like you, where where. That none of the uh, evil shall touch the his, his elect. Huh. Okay, you can bring that out too if you want. Oh, con, you know, con, con. Yeah, con. You, you about that. to get it right now. Yeah. Con. Well, while he getting that, you know, I'm gonna bring out this to also show you that, you know, hey, everything that's getting ready to take place is of the Lord. So, you know, and the scriptures tell you that, you know, before these things come to pass, the Lord tells you it's gonna happen. And how's the Lord doing that? He's doing that through the man that He has set upon the earth, all right, to teach this word. You know, so when you Israelites, you scoff, you buck up, you get mad because we were warning you of what's coming. You ultimately bucking up against the Lord because the scriptures told you that the Lord, before these things happen, I tell you, all right, the the, the, the man that the Lord set up upon the earth to teach is the, is his mouthpiece, all right. So this is Amos chapter three and verse six. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not and people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord had not done it?" So that's a rhetorical question. You know, yes, the Lord did it. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you see happening going on the earth, you know, whether it's war, pestilences, earthquakes, you know, massive floods upon the earth, you know, hey, the Lord did that. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you know, it's not us that you Israelites buck up against when you call us fear mongers, you know, for warning you and telling you what's coming to pass. It's ultimately how about Shimei was shy. All right. We're just the messengers. You found it? Oh, it's like, yo, yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting it now. <laughs> okay. 715. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 715. Yeah, Salaki people is gonna get that real quick. Oh, oh, I'm sure. Okay, okay. This is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, Psalms ninety one, right? Yeah. Or oh, which one you got? 
Oh, I had, I think I had Joe. I'm trying to, yeah, let me get this lock. Yeah, I was trying to get No Evil was going to touch the, yeah, the elect. Yeah, that's a uh, song 91. If oh. that's the same, it might be another one saying the same thing. Yeah, but. I was thinking Joe 5. And, yeah, Joe 5. Okay, yeah, 758. All right, I got it. All right, songs. So lucky. It was verse, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. This is uh Psalms chapter 91 and verse 9 in Salakia, people. Because there was a, it was another one too. It was it was Job, but this is the point. So this is Psalms chapter 91, verse 9. Because thou hast made the most high, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep in the, all thy ways. So guess what, man? If you people are sincerely doing this to the truth and sincerity and best of your abilities, if you brothers are sincerely teaching this word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and you fear the Lord and you show it, the Lord is going to save you, man. No evil is going to touch you, man. Come. And these angels, they're going to protect you, man. And the and the Lord could put the spirit on the on and the Lord could, could put the spirit on these um. On, on your family member that, that don't know what's going on to take the chip. And they end up getting a whole bunch of food and water and all supplies that you need to, to take care of yourself, man. And you can end up you can end up having a majority of that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be, it, be, because um, cause we know these two thirds, we know they're going to end up taking the chip, man. But if you sincerely do do this you sincerely believe in Yahweh Shai, man. You sincerely do his work and you fear him, man. He's gonna he's gonna deliver you, man. He's going to protect you. And them angels, man, they're gonna protect you, man. Whether you people believe it or not, there's angels watching us. Hey, it could be angels watching us in the car right now, man. Because remember the scriptures tell you that you could be entertaining angels, man. So, hey man, make sure you're doing this sincerely, man. Cause you could have been you you could have been um talking to an angel and you might have been talking down on that and then and then that that angel ends up writing up he was doing this man so hey make uh, sure you're doing we, this you can bring that out too uh, just, Con, Con, yeah i might Con. as well so it's a scripture to go along with what you just said uh know, about the angels being around because like yeah you know the angels you know they they are around those that fear you how about shimmy i was shot Con. right so you know technically yes you're supposed to fear you know what i'm saying you know a lot of israelites like i said they call us fear mongers you know, and quite frankly, yeah, we are fear mongers because, Come. you know, the fear of the Lord is going to deliver you. All right. The fear of the Lord is ultimately what's going to, you know, the scriptures talk about how the fear of the Lord is uh, the beginning of wisdom and whatnot. All right. So, yeah, fear plays a big factor, you know, in you being protected, so on and so forth. And this is going to prove that. Come. This is Psalms 34 and 7. And it says the angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and deliver them. All right. So, yes, you're supposed to fear. All right. You know, yes, we're fear mongers. You know, we're, we're we're pushing this stuff because we know the terrors of the Lord. All right. Con, and we don't want that judgment, man. You know, we don't want to get put to death, man. Con. And, and, you know, we want to be a part of his elect. We want the Lord to say, hey, you was my faithful servant. You were sincerely doing this. Here's your crown. That's what we want, man. You know, because truth be told, man, we want to get the hell out of America, man, because everything here in America is through, man. <laughs> Like everything here is through, you know, talking with these people, man, through, yep. you know, it's like going to your job, the, you know, these, 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 these GMO babies, all they talk about is bullshit, like NBA young boy and all that and money and all that bullshit, man. It's, it, 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 instead of, you know, good conversation, man, mm -hmm. they don't, no, there's nothing good that they talk about, man, at all. Damn. And, you know, and going in, in Salaki, because I wanted to make a point because, if if they ended up cutting the grizz, man, hey, the Lord could put this. Hey, the Lord could have you. He could, he could have a generator for you, and in 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 that way, you know your 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 um your supplies will end up working and, and working again, man. And you could have a lot of food, man, uh, as, as backup, man. Because remember what it say in Isaiah sixty five and thirteen, man, that um his servants shall eat and shall drink, man. But you pe you two thirds, man, y'all gonna suffer. 
and that includes you Israelites that are bullshit, man. That yeah. include y'all ain't excluded either, man. Yeah, first Peter 4 17 say uh, judgment is gonna begin at the house of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. And that's th that's those that know that they're Israelites, all right? Come. So again, you just because you know you're Israelite, you know you were fringes and all that, they don't Come. make that you don't exempt. Mean that. They don't make nope. you exempt. You know, before you get that, you know, I just want to make one more point dealing Come. with fearing, all right? Because even Yahweh, even even the Lord said, Fear not me, all right? So this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 22. And it says, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by perpetual decree? They cannot pass it. And though the ways thereof tossed themselves, yet they prevailed, yet not they prevail, like yet they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. All right? So the Lord, he's the one that did these type of things. You know, he set the bounds of the sea, you know, so on and so forth. So you're not going to fear this type of power that has the ability to do these things, all right? So again, this is why, you know, we, we preach, we teach, we tell you what's going on on the earth. We try to tell you what's getting ready to happen because the Lord, you know, he, he's to be greatly feared. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's, that's crazy because that's another scripture. You know, it's a whole bunch of scriptures that's popping up dealing with this. Come. Um, and it's still, yep. it goes into, you know, uh, fearing the Lord. You know, so you can go ahead and bring out what you got. You know, and if I find it, you know what, I'll bring it out. Calm. This is uh chapter, this is Hebrews chapter 13 and verse uh two. Uh yeah, yeah. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby. Some have entertained angels unaware, man. So hey man, be not unforgetful, man, to you know to entertain strangers. So listen, man, if you're doing this thing, man, just make sure you know you come in humble and good, man, because you never know. You could be you could be with an angel, man. Because, huh. hey, I remember a story my, my mama and my pops told me. They they actually, and, you know, I I really believe that angel could be right here. You know, I really do believe it. You know, it was an angel, man. You know, and he looked, he looked just like a person, but he was, like, tall with, like, white woolly hair and, uh, you know, like the like the white beard, but and he was black too, because mm -hmm. you know my you know my parents they ain't know at the time, because you know they didn't realize it was an angel, but, but he was telling them how you know how you know how it was gonna come out, and you, and you know how these children are gonna be dictators, and you know stuff like that. But you know my parents at first they was like, oh, he 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 just he just talking, and then he showed them because he showed them the picture and everything, and it was like, oh wow, because they was like, wow. And then the next thing you know, and and then they tried to they tried to ask him uh, more questions, and then they uh, they tried turning around, right? And then they turned around again. Poof, he was gone. Mm -hmm. It was in Augusta, Georgia, man. So remember, man, you can entertain angels, man. Remember, there was a uh, angel at the uh, soup at the football game. I think it was the uh, was it the Washington D.C. One of the brothers they they had it. It was like a year or two ago. Con. I think I remember that. Yeah. Hey, man. So remember, man, you can entertain angels, man. Con. So make sure, man, you come humble, respectful, man, of, of what you do, man. Con. That's why it's important to be yeah. careful about who you, you know, trying to come up against when you're out there in the highways and the byways as well. Because, again, you know, I know we're getting on these camps a lot, but, hey, the spirit just on us today to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you have a lot of camps, you know, that be out there teaching, you know, they see a person that looks like a so-called white man. You know, like, oh, you a devil, you going to slavery, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? But whole time, you know, that, that could be an angel. You know what I'm saying? Come. You know what I'm saying? Because the script, as we know in the scriptures, you cannot go off of appearance to tell who's who. All right? That's that's very low-level, basic Israelite mentality if you still base things off of, of appearance. You know what I'm saying? But the point being, you know, is that, hey, you're supposed to be aware of who you're talking to when you're out there in the highways and the byways or just in general. Because okay. the Lord, he could have an angel you know, come come by you and you know you just just know. to see how you gonna react. You know what I'm saying? Yep, I got some brother. This Done. is uh, I was gonna get Nahum chapter three because you know our and see this is our people. You know they're they've been indoctrinated, man, <laughs> completely. They've been distracted, indoctrinated, just dumped. They just been dumped down, man. Because you look at these other countries, man. They look at they they say you from America. They think you stupid, man. Like, 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 like you done lost your mind. Cause these people, man, they've been dumped down. They've been GMO. They've been poisoned. They've been uh, all Esau been doing all types of experiments and j did drugs on them. And, uh, and, 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 and this proves it. This is um, Nahum chapter three and verse one. 
Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. So, hey, man, woe unto that bloody city, man. That's talking about America, Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. Now, now, if you now, I'm not going to go too deep, but you can look up, look up uh, Thomas Paine, man. He wrote, he's an Edomite, a so-called white man. He he helped create the so-called the so-called Constitution of Babylon the Great. And in his book, The Age of Reasoning, he said he hates the Bible, flat out. Like you, you can't make this up. They, uh, and America got a statue of him. He and he was a um, a known revolutionist who who was an atheist and he hated the Bible, man. And he wrote it in his book. It's called The Age of Reasoning. He, he's an Edomite, man. Hey, man, the, the, these pe Esau is full of lies, man, and deceit, man. And this uh, and is, just, uh, uh, just oh, yeah, get, just give some clarification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and also, it's also talking about Esau's uh, philosophies. Salak. Kind of not that. They're talking about, um, you know, because the scripture is brought out. That's ultimately, you know, it could be applied to America. But when you read in this context where it talks about the bloody city, that's talking about uh, Nineveh. All right. Kind that's why a lot of like, yeah. That's why like, I, didn't mean kind of, to, I didn't mean to yeah to 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 to, to yeah. It's, to not, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good because yeah, you know this place is spiritual Nineveh as well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just wanted to get a context so don't nobody get confused. You know, if when you read it in this context and you know yeah, that's ultimately talking about Nineveh, but it could be applied to America as well. Kind of Salaki. Yep. And the uh, the noise of a, a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels. And of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots, Asalaki. The uh, let me jump down to verse uh, four, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the welfare, harlots, the mistress of witchcrafts, that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Behold, I am against thee, said the Most High of Hosts. And I will discover thy skirt upon thy face, and I will show the nation thy nakedness and the kingdom thy shame, man. So Yahweh Shem Shai, he's exposing Esau Edom's kingdom, man. It's being mm -hmm. exposed, man. And his witchcrafts and hardums. Look at what happened in the Super Bowl, man. You had uh oh man, you would that that's witchcraft, man. I mean, and you know the you know the Super Bowl is the most watched and everybody is all tuned in to it. And they had, uh, what's that? They had uh, Ice Spice mm -hmm. throwing up the devil horns and um, wearing upside her down upside cross. down yeah. cross, gifted by, uh, what's his, that clown, Playboy Cardi. Mm -hmm. And she was casting a spell on the masses, man. She was putting witchcraft on the people. Just remember, Ice Spice is one of the biggest influencers ever, man. Like, Jake and Eve really looks up to him, man. But see... But see, Esau. But, but see, while that's going on, man, look, look, look at what's go, all these wars and all these bills that Esau is passing out. That I'm, and, and, and people are more worried about the Super Bowl, man. And then you just had that fake, that well, dang. I'll just put it like this: you had this false flag sigh up of a, a shooting in Kansas City because it was all set up in the stage, man. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> people really believed that, and then you had the players. Promoting uh, so-called gun control, <laughs> so they can push that. Salaki. Salaki. Oh, no, you, you can go. go ahead. You go ahead. You oh, go ahead. Finish. And and and, and, that, and, then, and that's them trying to push that martial law, man. But see, but mainly it's talking about you know this so-called American dream that Esau has indoctrinated these people to believe, right? Mm. You know, go to college. You know, get an education. You know, get the money because that's all Jake cares about is money, man. Like 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 if you it's like you deal with these people, they be like. Man, what's your income, man? How much money you gonna make, man? Like, money, money, this, money, money, that. That's all they talk about. They, they, they're no different than these celebrities, man. Yeah, they, um, yeah, they might have money, man, but on the inside, they're tormented from the inside out. And then later on, this so-called American dream is gonna be a nightmare. You know why? Look at what, look at the leading cause of death in America is suicide or salakia, deletion, deleting yourself. Is the leading cause of death for suicide you can look this up people it's the leading cause of death people and, and esau has kicked out a lot of jake and ease from their own homes man they can't even pay for their rent it was a e it was an article a florida of eve she killed her own her, her, her two kids because she couldn't pay her rent and she got kicked out 
Cause, cause remember, they told you, Eve, y'all don't need a man. Y'all independent. Y'all bad bitches, right? And y'all get, and y'all so smart, and y'all can get that college degree, right? But, but, th but then when feminism kicks your ass, man, now you're through. Cause right. it was an Eve. <laughs> she just came out. It was this Atlanta Eve. I, man, I, I can't even. She said, I can't get my nails done. I can't. I can't, I can't do, do, I can't do anything. I can't pay for my rent. I don't even got a man. I can't do this no more. It's a lot of Eves coming out saying, man, I've been lied to, man. And that's, <laughs> that's that, the whoredoms yeah. and witchcraft, right, that's, man. That's what you get for falling for the okie doke that, uh, that Esau Edom fed you. You know, they told you ain't need no man, but now you realizing that you do. You know what I'm saying? You know, so hey, you, you just gonna have to lay in the bed that you made. You know, you've been told over and over again that you need a man and you better get one. You know, but hey, now you you realizing that you need one. Now you want to complain? Hell no! Nah. Just lay in that bed that you made. You know, Con. and that's that. You know, but um, Con and, and Salaki, brother. Yep, that's uh. one more thing. And see, Esau and, and Esau is being exposed because you see, Yahweh by Shai, he's un, he's uncovering America's secret parts, man. These small mm. hats underground in New York City, they're being exposed. Cause you even had that dude on, on, on King David, on King David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I remember. Uh, yeah. He's even going out looking at the small hats, man. Hey, man, yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai is exposing them? Albert Pike and these elite, they're being exposed, man. It, right. It's, 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 it's yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai is showing you, man? How can y'all not see it, man? Like, it's like, how can y'all not believe yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai? Y'all rather have. This stupid ass world, man. When the Lord is showing you the truth in plain sight, right in your face, man. All biblical prophecy is being fulfilled, man. Because mm -hmm. y'all shot told you it was gonna be fulfilled. Oh yeah, it's yeah. so lucky, brother. You can go and just uh, touching on what he was touching on a few minutes ago. You know, uh, these devils they like to feed you Israelites. You know, with this bread and circus. You know, they like to distract you with things like the Super Bowl Con. and stuff. And the whole time is some stuff going on behind the scene. Yep. You know, this is something that uh, my brother has sent me. You know uh, that he's seen, you know, on TikTok, and this was not uh, uh, reported on. This is what was happening during the Super Bowl. All right, so Salaki, let me uh, try to go to this video. Salaki, give me just a second. Oh yeah, yeah. If you got some, uh, oh like yeah, I got some. This is uh, yeah, yeah. This is Luke chapter twenty-four, <laughs> verse forty-four, and he said unto them. These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me, man. So guess what, man? Hey, man, the Lord, Yahweh Shah, he was always with us, man. And he's written us that prophecy will be fulfilled, man. Mm. So guess what? All this, whether it's left-hand side or and whether it's in all your movies, because when you see that predicted programming, when you see civil war, when you see these people dying on the streets, man, whether it's right hand or left hand side, when you see the Albert Pike letters, guess what? It was all biblical prophecy. They all got it from the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, man? Everybody's got to play their role, man. But we, we got to play our role according to Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai. But except this is real, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no game, this ain't no act. But hey, the Lord gave giving us, you know, the, the script, man. God. And, and we're and this is the Lord's movie, man. So that's what y'all people gotta understand. So, you know, we gotta wait on him, man. Okay? Cause you know, we cause cause you know, you got people saying we're we're, we're in the new covenant. No, we're not, man. We're not gonna be in the new covenant until America is destroyed, man. And all the and Esau is taken out of the way, and these two thirds are gone, and and, and you people that didn't take the MOTB man, you and, and then and then after all of that happens, th then the kingdom is going to come, man. But all of that has to happen, man, because you got, you know, you got people saying that, and, you know, God. teaching. And we can touch. On, we could go ahead and get in touch on that after I show this video. Oh, big. You know, God. just so for some edification purposes, because like like you said, you know, you do have Israelites that believe that we are in a new covenant right now, and that's that's going off. You have a group of Israelite men that branched off from. GMS and whatnot, you Mississippi. Know, that, yeah, Missi yeah, they, they call themselves the uh, with the line, spiritual life lesson. Yeah, that, he yeah. said he said the name of the Lord is a bar of man. Yeah, every like every he be like a bar, but that's which this dude. They just show you what bugged that's, out. That just show you when you bug out, you just gonna continue to bug out even more and more. There's no limit to bugging out. You know what I'm saying? You know, first he was dealing with you know the the the, the um the new covenant, saying that we believe in a new covenant. 
or we are in the new covenant. That's what you're saying. Come. Next thing you know, he's teaching some false names. Then yep. who knows what else and, he gonna say? And the next, crazy you know thing is, he was on fire in the yeah, God, I remember. He was in yeah. on fire for the thing. Hey man, the scriptures tell you, take not thy Holy yeah. Spirit from me. Yeah, man. it can happen. It that's can why. Happen that's why. I, that's why I always say, you know, in many videos, you know, I say, be humble. Don't be in the spirit of acting as if you can't be at a two-third because you very well could be. God. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's why I always try to refrain from saying you two-thirds as if I'm trying to make a, di a difference between me and them as if I'm of the elect. I don't know if I'm of the elect. God. You know what I'm saying? I pray that I am. You know, I pray that I'm not of the two-third. You know what I'm saying? You know? But yeah, this is the video that I want to show you right quick. This is what was going on during the Super Bowl. All right. It was fake. It might have been a cover-up for something massive while the whole world was distracted. Rafa, a big city in Palestine, was attacked by over 50 bombs launched by Israel. But what does this mean for the world? After a massive attack of over 50 bombs was launched by Israel this Sunday, everyone was left in shock. People believed this attack was planned on purpose during the Super Bowl. The images from Rafa are heartbreaking. The main target of this bombing was a refugee camp. After this tragic incident, many people are saying this was an evil plan from Netanyahu and the U.S. But what are your thoughts? on this the super bowl was all right so as you see you know this is this is an example of how esau Edom moves huh you know he'll, he'll give you a bread and circus yep you know he'll throw you something to be distracted about yep. and then he's making moves behind the scenes and the crazy thing about the super bowl is it was all masonic man because at the last second which y'all probably didn't notice patrick mahomes threw for 333 yards and then um he gave the ball to me cole hardman three for a three yard score and number 33 was the man who let him score logan ryan he's 33 years old you can't make this up man like and, and, and if y'all don't know 33 is basically the highest degree of freemasonry on the left hand side and them the, the 33rd degree masons they worship you know they worship satan and they summon demons on the left hand side man mm -hmm. that's and you know that's that witchcraft that's being put out onto the people man and see, it, 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 like you can't make this up, man. And then right after the the Super Bowl, and then right after the Super Bowl, now the so-called uh, shooting happened, and people really uh -huh. believe that, man. Because yeah. I was all the psyop, man, to push for that gun control, man. And they say this will go down in history as the so-called worst shooting in in the worst mass shooting in history yeah real yeah, right mm -hmm. and notice they said and you know what's crazy people? they said oh there goes the f right and, the, and and we have the fbi and the cia a lot of fbi and cia agents right here already mm -hmm. before it even happened they already had the fbi and cia waiting they that lets you know that it was all st set up man in stage man just like all these other events that i can't talk about but we'll just leave it at that man but see, it's it's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna come, man. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, man. You know these people, man. They ain't ready for it, man. Cause that's what that's what they told you, man. You know, they 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 said that um, what's his name? What's that devil name? Gutierrez. He said 2024 is going to be the year of chaos, meaning order out of chaos. And Bush told you long time ago. Bush said we're gonna create an order. A, a chaos, an order out of chaos. I mean, we know how dumb and stupid uh, Bush is, but I mean, he, he's a part of Skull and Bones, right? And he's talking about they want to push in a new world order, man, on, on, on to, the, to the masses, man. And he says that we're going to be successful at this new world order, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hey, man, the, you know, because, you know, he saw he, he's the devil, man. He, you know, he's going to be destroyed, man, huh. for, for all that weakness he's doing. Oh, you asked him? Oh, you asked yeah, him? Uh, okay. Ephesians chapter 5. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, verse 15, because like I said, you know, mm -hmm. this devil, this is how he always operates. He'll, he'll uh -huh. throw you some bread and circus. Yep. You know, he'll ha put something so you to be, he'll give you something to be distracted by, and he's making moves behind the scene. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, whenever we have big events like the Super Bowl, you know, we ain't, we ain't really... You know, we we not, we're not yeah, tuned really yeah, we're not oblivious. It. We're not oblivious. Right. We're not stupid. We know yeah. what's going on. Yeah, we always looking for other things that's going on when we have big big events like this. Like when it's a big boxing match that's getting ready to take place, or a big Super Bowl, or the the NBA Finals. We know something else is going behind going on behind the scenes. That's why the scriptures say, you know, walk, you know, be circumspect. All right. This is uh, Ephesians chapter five and verse fifteen. It says, "See then that you walk circ that you walk circumspectly, not as fools." But as wise, 
redeeming the time because the days are evil. And these are some very evil times, some very prophetic times, dangerous times that we're living in, all right? So in these times that we're living in, you know, you can't just be walking around the earth, you know, you know, just not paying attention to what's going on. You know, you, not, see what's yeah, going you, can, on, you can't be distracted by these things that Esau Edom is throwing at you, you know? You know, these different uh, sporting events, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. You know, all these things that are to distract you and mainly to distract you, Jake's, because Jake is the main one with a short attention span. Yep. You'll get distracted by anything. All right. You know, sports, you know, a new album coming out, a game that's going to drop. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, you know, you get distracted. And that's exactly why the scriptures tell you to wake out of sleep, you know, because, hey, the day is at hand. Let me get that. Romans chapter 11. And um, yep, I got something, brother. Come on. This is and see, this is going into man, man. You people can't, you know, want to have the this this worldly pleasures, man, and you know stuff of the world, man. This is Mark chapter eight and verse thirty four, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples, also he said unto them, Who whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Whoever will save his life shall lose it, but whoso whoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. For what shall Salaki and see going into that man? See, you got to carry your cross for your Howard shot, man. See, you got to put all this worldly stuff away for your Howard shot, man. Even if that means losing your family and your friends, man. Guess what? Me and this brother, we lost a lot of family and friends. For, be, for proclaiming to be Israelites and sincerely uh, um, teaching this Bible, man. You even had the lady, you even had the lady who called the cops on us, man. And a lot of brothers then got cops called on them, man, for teaching the truth. And you got family and friends saying they're all, they're horrible, they're horrible people, man. But hey, that's what's going to happen, man, when you're sincerely doing this for your Hawa shop. If you're not getting backlash, people, if you ain't putting away worldly stuff, man, you're not, then you need to check yourself, man, you know, and you're an Israelite, you need to check yourself, like, man, what am I doing wrong, I need to, I need to put this away, I need to stop listening to these celebrities, you know, I need to stop, you know, trying to, try, trying to do this, man, you know, and I need to do this for you, shot, because it's all about priorities, man, mm -hmm. you know, it's nothing wrong with, you know, going to job and, you know, doing what you got to do, priorities, man, yep. the scripture and Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy in the, in the angels, they're first, man. In this truth, man, you might have, you know, you might have your woman or your, or your kids, man. This is always first, man. Then comes, then comes all of that, man, and family, man. Okay, it's priorities, man. Cause hey, if you love, if you love your your, your family or your friends more than Yahweh shy, then you you're not his disciple, man. You're not truly his disciple. If you love these celebrities. You love money in this world. You're not a disciple of Yahweh Shai, man. You're of the world, man. Huh. And this is the scripture to go along with that. It. it says, if any man comes to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Now, is that saying that you're supposed to literally hate your mother and your father? No, because no. It's, it's part of the commandments that you must honor your mother and your father. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's not telling you to hate them right. or hate your wife or your kids. But he's it, telling you kind of, not to love them more than your exactly. house shot, man. Kind of prior priorities. You know what I'm saying? Truth first, your how about your shot first, doing his work first. And then Before everything he, else yeah, exactly. everything else comes next. And everything man. else afterwards. Point blank period. And this is uh verse uh thirty five. For whoso Osalaki, no 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 verse thirty six. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and loseth his own soul, man? And, it will, it will, and he ain't going to gain anything, man, because when he sell his soul for money, riches and fame, man, guess what? Now he has demons and mm -hmm. now Lucifer and Satan controls him now. I mean, you had celebrities tell you like Katy Perry, Kanye West, you know, Jay-Z, right? They said, I sold my soul to the devil. For, I knew it was a crappy deal, but at least it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they sold out, man. Yep. You know, what, what shall it, because it ain't going to profit nothing, man. Why would you want American Idol? Because they tell you, man, what, what, what does American Idol mean? Idol means a, a God, man. And that, and, and the American, America's God is Satan. Okay. Well, I mean, what, what, I mean, they, they put it right in your face, people. I mean, 
Look at what Christian Bale said. Christian Bale said that he thanked Satan for his award on live TV. Majority of these celebrities be 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 be, be openly be openly talking about praising the devil, man. Openly, man. And that's what they got to do for the riches and fame, man. And they got to do sick and twisted stuff, man, like Moism for, for the men, you know, it, you know, wearing dresses, fingernail polish. Because you see what NBA young boy and them got to do, man. And that and that's why Jake and Jake and Eve idolize that, man. But they don't realize that NBA young boy works for the left hand side and, and, and Lil Uzi Vert and Playboy Cardi, man. You know, that that's who Jake and Eve looks up to, man. Degenerates, man. You know what I'm saying? Why do y'all care about money more than your house shot, man? <laughs> hey, the scriptures tell you, man, that it's easier for a eye it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Kind of, and, you know? and ultimately, just to add on to that, just be, and that's because, you know, when you got all these different things, you know, your riches, you know, the different things in this world, like somebody like Floyd Mayweather, that's a, that's a great example. Kind of. Because like Floyd Mayweather, he has these, he has billions of dollars. Yep. You know, he has all these different nice cars, his big mansions and palaces and all that. Yep. He has all these nice looking women around him. You know, so when you got all that, you know, it's gonna be harder for you to let those type of things go. Yep. You know, for your how about Shimmy was shot. But you on the inside, that? they're tormented. Exactly. Because you had um what well, dang, what's his name? Uh Mike Tyson, man. You know? Mike Tyson said he won all those belts and championships, all those knockouts, but he said he's still not happy, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He he chose he rather choose this world and money and riches than Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai. Now imagine if he chose Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai over being famous and rich for being a boxer. He would be he wouldn't be so sad, man. He wouldn't be depressed, man. Because all these celebrities, man, that's why these celebrities be coming out. All they see is demons, man. That's why they gotta have people in their homes, man. Because all they see is demons, man. Because they sold out to Satan, man. Mm -hmm. They can't get their soul back, man. All they wanted is money. And what do you hear Jake and Eve talk about? Money this, money that. Money is going to say, no the fuck it's not, man. Th this is what's going to save you, man. A prior priority of the Bible, that's what's going to save you, man. Yeah. But these celebrities, Esau eat them as indoctrinated you, man. That's that that whoredom witchcraft, man. Y'all been y'all been deceived, man. Y'all y'all been lied to, man. Y you know? And, yeah. and uh where was I at? If you ask some, kind of yeah, I want to add on to what you said. Pretty much, you know, uh, you know, uh, cam it's being harder for a camel to fit through an eye of a, of a needle. Oh yeah, so, and so forth. You know, for a man to fit through an eye of a needle. You know, roughly paraphrasing, I don't want to butcher it, but um, this is Matthew chapter six and verse twenty four. Mm -hmm. It says, "No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, yep. or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve yeah, how about some y'all shine, mammon? And see that man, you you can only serve two masters i mean salaki no you know you, no, you, you you can't serve two masters salaki you can only serve one man you either serve your how about shimmy out shop or you serve satan man just like for example like these dudes for example like alex jones um what's his farrakhan uh to uh russell brand right they're all they're sellouts uh joe rogan they're sellouts man you know they they they, they talk a nice game right and and they tell the truth, man. But truth be told, they really work for Satan, man. So you can't serve two masters, man. Same with Kanye West, man. Kanye West might be talking about he was an Israelite. But back in the day, he sold his soul a long time ago, y'all. And he even admitted it on stage, man. You can't serve two, two masters, man. Same thing with Kyrie Irving, man. Kyrie has a tattoo of the all-seeing eye with the six-pointed star, man. And now he's talking about Israelite. Which which one is it, Kanye? Are you for, I mean, which one is it, uh, Kyrie? Are you for Yahweh Shai? Are you for the small hats, man? And that, and your real God, uh, Satan, man. And that's who he's for, man, Satan, man. Because that's what they got to do, man. They, they want, they got to try and, you know, and deceive the people, man. And that's mm -hmm. what they're doing, man. Because Con here it is, Kanye West is doing music with Marilyn Manson, a known oh, Satan. Oh, yeah, definitely. Doing music with Marilyn Manson, a known Satanist. <laughs> I mean... Uh, and Lil, Lil Uzi too, Con and yeah. Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. Lil Uzi Vert said Marilyn, Marilyn Manson is my idol, yeah. and Marilyn Manson is a part of the Church of Satan. Man, this dude eats. This dude Marilyn Manson eats the Bible and rips pages out of the Bible. Man, mm -hmm. and you telling me Kanye West 
is 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 telling the truth. Y'all take him serious, man. Really? Hey man, you can't serve two masters, man. You either serve your how about shimmy how shy, or you serve Satan, man. And, and and you can't serve Mammon, man. And that's Kanye's God, man. Mammon and Satan or Baphomet, man. Same thing with Alex Jones and them, man. They're controlled opposition, man. Joe Rogan, they're all controlled opposition. Farrakhan, controlled opposition, man. He's a 33rd degree Mason. It's like, here it is. Farrakhan is exposing the elites, but here it is two, three, or 15 years later. Now he joins for the Lodge of Chicago. Which one is it, Farrakhan? <laughs> and on top of that, his dad is white. You know what's crazy? His father is white. We should tell you that, hey man, not all, not not just because of your color don't mean, don't, don't necessarily mean that you're an Israelite. Remember, Farrakhan looks black, but his dad is an Edomite, so therefore he's white. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and look, look like like look at Blake Griffin or Clay Thompson, man. They might look white, but their dads are black. Jew, they're, they're Israelites, man, from the tribe of Benjamin Levi. Same with Patrick Mahomes, man. He's an Israelite. His father is a Judite, man. But y'all, because you got people in the comments saying, oh, Patrick Mahomes is a white boy. He, he He's mixed. No, right. he's a, he's an Israelite, man. That's right. go, that's that speckle of birds, man. You know what I'm saying? You are what you, who your father is, man. That's yep. in the scriptures, man. Yo, and like I, that's why I mentioned what I mentioned earlier, because you still have a lot of people, even in the truth, that base things off of appearance. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have a lot of people... You know, you have an Israelite, have a, a group of a, a men teaching on the street. They'll see somebody that's black, so-called black, with a thick, woolly afro, and that's automatically your brother. Not knowing that this person might have a, a Edomite grandfather three generations back. You or know a what Hamite saying? father. Exactly. You just don't know. But y'all just so quick to accept somebody that's black, a little blacker than Wesley Snipes. Huh. You know, with a thick afro over somebody that looks like an Edomite. But has a, a, a so-called black father. Kind of. You know what I'm saying? Or like, um, what's his name? Um, you got Blake Griffin. You got yep. Drake. Drake's son. You know, because if you look at Drake's son, he like a white boy. You know? So here it is. You know, you have a lot of Israelites willing to accept, you know, somebody that looks black that has a, 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 a Edomite fa father over Drake's son. All right? Just because of his appearance. You know, you got to be a, a complete dumbass. To still have that type of mentality and thinking process in these times that we're in right now, because uh, Lenny Kravitz, he's a he's a Edomite, and uh, Prince, he's a Edomite man. They might look black, right, with the Afro woolly, but they're Edomites, man, because they are, who, because he is what his father was, mm -hmm. man. His father was um, Irish, but with with the white mafia, man. So therefore, they're Edomites, man. Okay. And um, I was. Yeah, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to have to end up closing out. Oh, yeah, big count. Uh, big count. Yeah, yeah. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Who, whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him. Also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what shall you give, man? You know, because once you give your soul away... You're not and you're not gonna make the kingdom, man. You know, you want to sign your name in blood to the elites, man, and say, Oh, I want to be the next big rapper, I want to be the next American idol, and you sign and you sign your name in blood, man, and you willingly do it, you through, man. Mm -hmm. And you should be ashamed of yourself, man. I mean, look at this generation today of, of, of rappers, like the brother was Lil Uzi Vert, Playboy Cardi, NBA Youngboy. This is uh um and then for the women, you got Sexy Red, Megan Thee Stallion, Ice and, Spice, and Ice you know, Spice Glorilla, Glorilla, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. This this is who this is Jake and Eve's um to modern day idols, man, who uh -huh. sold who willingly sold their souls to the devil, cause cause Cardi B broke down in tears crying when she sold her yeah. soul, and um. Hey, what's that? Dude? Sukiana. Sukiana. Yeah. Her too. She cried and admitted she sold her soul too, man. But she's still doing exactly what she's been doing, so she ain't that that remorseful. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, if she don't repent, she's going to be destroyed. And she knows about the Hebrew Israelites because uh, it was probably a couple months ago, yep. two, three months ago, she made a, a post. And I'm pretty sure she was mocking. Yeah, she you know, was. She was talking, talking about, about she was going to be with Umar because she had a, yeah. pit, did a picture with Umar. Kinda. And not only that, she made a she posted a, vi a picture of herself, and in the caption, she talking about some she want a Hebrew Israelite husband, you know where they at, blah blah blah. So 
you know, she knows about the Hebrew Israelites. She watches, but yet she's still conducting herself like a whore. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of you Israelite women look up to. You know what I'm saying? That's going to lead you to destruction as well because you've been warned. You've been warned. You know what I'm saying? If you want to continue down that path, you know, hey, great death and destruction awaits you in the times that we're coming into. You know what I'm saying? So this is another scripture to go along with, you know, um, how riches, you know, it ain't going to profit you nothing for real. So this is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 4. And it says, riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. All right. So if you want to be delivered from the things that's coming, righteousness is these scriptures, you know, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, faith, first and foremost, you know, doing this work. If you're a man. All right. That's what's going to deliver you from death. All right. Not, not these riches that uh, uh, these celebrities uphold. You know, they try to bribe you, you know, and lure you Israelites in with, you know, oh, I got this. This is the type of lifestyle you want to live. You know, ain't it? Look at my Lambo. You know, this, that, another. Nah, that's not going to deliver you from death. All that stuff is going to be destroyed. All right. You know, scriptures talk about in uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, you know, all the works therein shall be burned up. All right. So all these riches, all these nice cars, all these mansions, all of that, you know, your, your job, your corporate office that you want to work in, you know, it's going to be destroyed. Come. But righteousness is going to deliver you from death. Come. Yep. I got some. This is going into Esau Edom. And this is a clear cut for you Christians, man, because you got Christians that say, oh, well, God's going to save everybody, man. When the Lord clearly says he hasn't dealt with them. This is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked, the most high said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? And they have nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Esau Edom, so called white man, he don't got nothing to do with the Most High. Like I was talking about Thomas Paine earlier. He's a so called Edomite, man. And this is the so called guy that made the Constitution, right? And in his book, he hates the Bible, man. He said I that that he that he he said he he hates the Bible and he wish it never existed, man. So called white man. That's a clear cut for you Christians, man. I mean, look at majority of these Edomites of today, man. <laughs> I mean, it, you might as well call these these Edomites the church, the church of Satan, man. Now, notice majority of the people that send the Satanism, homosexuality, witchcraft, or Edomites, man. They're they're all Edomites, man. But 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 they gotta indoctrinate Jake and Eve to partake in this garbage, man. You you know what I'm saying? But but Esau Edom, man. He, he don't got nothing to do with the Most High, man. His statutes and commandments, man. Only the Israelites, only the Israelites, man, has something to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's why Esau Edom is killing you, man. Because that's his job, man. His job is to be, he's doing his job, man. But why aren't you Israelites doing y'all job, man? Uh, of coming back to your knowledge and your truth. Y'all rather be so-called African American or so-called black, man. Esau is doing his job and being wicked, worshiping Satan killing you why aren't y'all doing your job man Fine. Fine. so i got something to pretty much go with that you know this pretty much i might end it off on that you got something okay. else uh um, uh last time i checked it was yeah, like on 20 percent yeah. i, don't want I can i can use that. mine if you want for quick for quick yeah i had a precept going Fine. into it so yep yeah, yep all right let me get that ecclesiastes 41 and 5 real mm -hmm. quick and you can pull your slack you said what Ecclesiastes, no, to kiss 40. And see, this is proof, man. So this is Ecclesiastes, kiss chapter 41 and verse 5. The children are sinners are abominable children. And they that are con conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, man. And see, that's a clear cut for you Christians too, man. The children are sinners. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's why the so-called founder of Scientology believes in Aleister Crowley's teaching, man. Aleister Crowley calls himself the beast, 666. Mm -hmm. He worships the devil. He openly worships the devil. Albert Pike, man, so-called white man. Anton LaVey, so-called white man. It, it's, it's, so, it's so much. His scriptures clearly tell you. So for you Christians out there, man, man, if y'all don't get it, man, y'all just going to be destroyed, man. God. You know? And, and, it, and it's just that. That's a clear cut for you Christians, man. I can't say nothing about that. Fine. So uh, that, that's pretty much our scripture? Uh, yep, that's pretty much Fine. it. For the, so yeah. I'm uh, I'm going to end it off with this. You know, we're going to go ahead and end it because uh, I see my phone, you know, it's getting ready to die. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's going to run out of storage as well. So I don't want it to shut down. Be kind. So uh, I'm going to end off with uh, Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And it's to you Israelites, all right? In the truth and outside the truth, all right? Because like I said earlier, a lot of Israelites in the truth, 
you know, they, they might be awoken to them being an Israelite, but they're still asleep. Yep. So this is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And it says, and, no, and that knowing the time that is now high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. All right. You know, salvation is nearer than what we've ever believed. And these scriptures right here, you know, was written over 2000 years ago. And they was already talking about how the kingdom was not. So how much more now? All right. We are at the end of the end. All right. When Yahweh shot came on the scene, that's when the end really started. You know, and he's been gone off the earth for about 2000 years, 2000 plus years. So we are at the end of the end. So it's time for your Israelites to wake up, you know, because our salvation is nearer than we believe. Verse 12, it says, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put all on the armor of light. All right. So that's what we're supposed to be doing in these times, putting on the armor of light, casting off the works of darkness. Stop being a nigga in the world, mm. you know, taking heed to, you know, false doctrines, seducing spirits, so on and so forth. Verse 13, let us walk honestly in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but ye, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. All right, so to heal with the flesh, you know, we're supposed to be worried about more spiritual things. All right. You know, that's what the scriptures say. You know, you got to die daily, roughly paraphrasing, you know, kill the flesh because the flesh, you know, that ultimately could lead you down the wrong path and whatnot. You know, Con. so Con, you got yep, I got I got one more. And this is going into Mark. Uh, it's a precept on Mark chapter eight and verse uh, 34 on 38. This is first Timothy's chapter six and verse uh, nine. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. And this is the key, people. Verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. So, hey, man, the love of money is the root of all evil, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you love money more than anything, man, that's wicked, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying that you know how about Shimmy I said that's wicked and that's what these celebrities do they love money and serve it their God Satan more than they do of of, of being in this truth man God. see that's why that's why that's why they got demons on them man that's why they're depressed and sad every day man because yep. they chose the love of money instead of the love of how about Shimmy I shot man which is doing you know doing this truth to the sincerity of best of their abilities man Yep. And you even got people in the truth, man, that love m money more than Yahweh Shai, and it's a shame, man. Okay. And like I, it's like I said earlier, you know, uh, they use these type of things to lure you other Israelites on the outside looking in. They try to lure you in with that so you can get trapped in that same cycle, you know. And like we was talking about Floyd Mayweather, he has all these type of things, you know what I'm saying? So, But it's ultimately going to be harder for him to enter into the kingdom because, like he just read, you know, those type of things lead you into temptation. You know what I'm saying? You got these are uh, all this money cars clothes Come. different beautiful women walking around you you know it's going to lead you into into temptation that's why it's in all these drinks Come. that's why it's easier for a camel to enter into the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom you know what i'm saying because he's all gonna get rid of the paper dollar anyway <laughs> gonna, yeah. gonna burn, that burn it up and and you know with them cbcs you know what was going on i i think it was in um I, I can't remember which it was a country yeah, I think they I know said something about. They, they they got rid of the um paper dollar yeah, yeah and that's gonna yeah. come to america very soon man yeah, very soon so y'all gonna see how much money was really worth it wasn't worth shit <laughs> God. God. and once they get rid of the dollar it's gonna be toilet paper it's literally. gonna be the chip coming up next yeah, the dollar is gonna be toilet paper <laughs> yep. and they're gonna implement the chip which is the motb nothing else all right just to add that on you know what i'm saying that's a big major prophecy God. with elon musk uh, rolling his trial, a big prophecy is being fulfilled, man. Basically, yeah, literally. And, and, and you idiots in IYC like like uh, Nathaniel, ain't no microchip. It's Jew. Well, what's well, look that, what Elon it, Musk is doing? Kind of, and that be, that's that's gonna be hilarious. This is gonna show you that the Lord got a sense of humor if the microchip drop in June. <laughs> that would be funny. That, yeah, that'd be like yeah, okay, making him yeah, look stupid. Right. And then you got. Uh, General Yohanna from ISUPK. You really think God cares if you put a microchip in your body? Okay, we gonna see. <laughs> right, come on, we gonna see. Come. On. <laughs> hey, if y'all watch that movie Implant, <laughs> reality is gonna be worse than Implant. Literally. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be way worse because you see what they're doing with this Apple Pro. Now they got a lot of people into that Apple Pro bullshit. They might these people that are into Apple Pro. They might as well take the chip, man.
<laughs> because they're in virtual reality. They're a robot now, man. We warned them about this, but they rather partake in Esau's wicked ass kingdom, man. In, in all of his, you know, his, his his whoredoms and witchcrafts and his philosophies, man. So therefore, they're gonna be destroyed because of that, man. Uh. But for those who who come out of that, man, and repent and come back to these laws and statues. And commandments mm -hmm. for Yahweh Yahweh Shah, y'all gonna be saved, man, mm. from the from these lockdowns and, and mass death that when they roll the military out. Because you know they got these illegal immigrants coming on in. Mm. And, and, they, and you know they calling them the terrorists, right? Yep. Sleeper cells. Sleeper cells. Mm. Yep. So uh pretty that was yep. that on that. Yep. Mm. So pretty much, you know, that that pretty much concludes this lesson, you know. And Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying to you, brothers and you sisters out there. And Lord willing, we'll be able to be back on the highways and the byways tomorrow. Oh, not uh, tomorrow, so like uh, next, next week. week. Next this week. should be warmer kind. next week. You know, but today, you know, it was just extremely cold. You know, mm -hmm. you got to use wisdom and all things. Kind. You know, otherwise we would have been out. You know, but uh, pretty much that concludes that. And Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters was edified. Mm -hmm. And as always, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahshai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you brothers that's out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Shalom. Kwame Asharala, Baba Ba.